academic knowledge, does that count? <laughs> no, it just means that someone had to verbally teach you that academic knowledge. <laughs> <coughs> I'm a guy that knows things that are yes, <laughs> Anyways, uh, once again. Yes, uh, I don't know how to read. I'm going to make that a personal quest, learn to read. I'll teach you. Once again, we skip ahead a few years since your uh, childhood events have been pretty much done and you're a fully fledged adult. Yeah, let's My childhood hasn't been done. Oh, is, is that what we're calling me now? <laughs> <laughs> about to say the man the man who's been sworn his life <laughs> to the other so called man has yet to acknowledge him as a man that's why he's always with a shield ready to protect him one day I will learn how to slay these wiggly scribbles on this parchment <laughs> so you're not, a, you're not a man in my tent until you learn how to read <laughs> that's the only requirement <clears throat> I want to point out it's my tent, buddy. <laughs> That's right. I got kicked out of my tent. <laughs> you don't Why'd you get kicked out of your tent? <laughs> um, for reasons. What did you do? Yeah, that's very specific. I couldn't figure out how to play the sand harp. <laughs> <laughs> that was a that was a potential that was a potential trade I could have taken. Instead, I took uh, consume alcohol, so I became an alcoholic. <laughs> <laughs> instead of learning how to play an instrument. So, <laughs> that completely sidetracked it. Uh, anyways, we skip ahead a few years as you're sleeping and uh, are woken up by it. one of the local uh, tribesmen cards. I've been asleep for a thousand years! Who dares disturb my slumber? Oh, it's you. As they shake your legs and uh, uh, the shaman wants to see you. Sonars. <laughs> That's hilarious. Yeah. Oh, what do you want? <laughs> you all go to the shaman's hut, as she seems worried. And then, then I will respond, okay. Looks upon Never. you and says, The first signs have appeared in the stars. Oh. <laughs> he knows about the sign. Nagash is coming. About one year from now, you must leave for your quest soon, before it will be too late. Um, what quest is this? I'm confused right now, she says with a yawn. Ah, uh, yes. We have located the Crown of Sorcerer's... Sorcerer's location. It is in the last Hope Inn. In the other side of the world. So this book of significant importance it is in an inn. It's not a book. It is a literal crown. Made, said uh, be, say, made in the old legends <coughs> with its power to amplify sorcery beyond belief. So let me get this straight. This very powerful artifact is on the other side of the world and we have to go retrieve it? Yeah. Yes, Destroy that's it? what she said. But that's so how will we know? far. How will we know? <laughs> <laughs> how will we know? Uh, how will we know what the crown will look like? Is it we have a oh well, guess we get a good going soon. <laughs> it is a jagged crown made of <clears throat> copper, and it emits a very specific energy. My apprentice here should be able to sense it as soon as you come close to it, or. Alternately, the crown has a guardian, an eternal health corrupted and health good guardian that has been tasked to protect it. Do we. It has one wing made of black feathers and one that looks like an angel's. 
you should be able to at least ask him or her where to find it. He should be waiting in the last hope in. We are suspecting that uh, the cultists will uh, attack this in when the pl blood moon is on its highest peak. Okay, so appeared. you have a tickets to you have like plane tickets or something. There's enough money for play. <laughs> you got enough money for bus fare. I was I, I was trying to get myself in the mindset of being immersed, and then you just completely <laughs> fucked that up. <laughs> no, <laughs> but I'm just yeah, like, what the hell is a plane or a bus? <laughs> but thankfully, you say you went flying. <laughs> no, but thankfully, you're. Uh, friend here managed to rescue our camels from escaping. We are willing to partake with the camels for each of you. Oh, that was a great. horse. Need the back uh, noise. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was really well timed, but it was a fucking horse. <laughs> To say, mine's a horse. <laughs> Look at my horse. My horse is amazing. Just give it I a lick. Tastes just like raisins. The village leader. Uh, semi required that it be a horse. The village leader has allowed me to donate your party 500, 500 Arabic golds for your travel funding. Here. Have this, and as she hands off a sack of five hundred gold. I grab the hold the bag of gold, and just feeling the weight of it, just wow. Um, can I can I hold it for a second? <laughs> um, okay. No. Be amongst us all I before must... someone. Wow, uh, this shit is really fucking heavy. Jesus. She looks like she's probably having some trouble keeping yeah, it up. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll hold on to that for us. We have another gift for you. <clears throat> Here, have these documents. If you happen to come across one of our other desolate tribes, you can <clears throat> ask them for their help on your journey. If you happen to unfortunately lose a member of your party. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. That was be good. <laughs> when one of the PCs bites the dust. Yeah, pretty much. Go here. So we're splitting the gold, right? We're splitting it, right? No, I must. So if one of the PCs dies, quickly go to another village and steal one of their fucking tribesmen. <laughs> The wardens, we have this document. Give us your conscription. Oh yeah, no, like, like this. The other one is just like, oh, just help us with the war. This one, give us your people. Yep. Now, <laughs> them over. Aside from our tribesmen, you must avoid people. The cultists have gained power, and if they are wary of your presence, they will come and hunt you with force, and a lot of it. So. Keep to the roads that are not so noticeable. In fact, we're trying not to be noticeable. Wouldn't we want to not keep on the roads? In fact, our well, when we want to keep on the roads so that we maintain discreet, so that way no one suspects anything. Desert. <laughs> In fact, well, we have uh, given a route for you if you choose to follow it. Oh god. It should be the safest one. First, <clears throat> we recommend that you travel to Bel Alid, the local main city, and contact a man called Samir Portros. You probably have talked to him while he has visited our little oasis in the past. <clears throat> Samir Portros. He will assist <clears throat> in you in your travels. Then, I recommend you go through the Swamps of Terror, then the Marshes of Madness, and stop by the local ruins. Then... Oh, this just sounds like a fun trip. 
the safest name these places. They are not going to get good tourism with those names. Then the yeah, no kidding, right? <laughs> then the safest truth is go to the old lost dwarven ruins. There's an old mountain path underground that should lead you towards the north. And when you finally get there, we have a an old fort in the Trigon North that you can visit. That an old friend of ours is controlling. It should be around here, as she marks on the map. Oh, fuck. And your final destination, last hope in, is all the way over there. Oh, no. <laughs> Does my character know what's given are and why we should not probably go in the old Droven ruins? Sadly, no. Most people think they're myths. Ah. Uh... And uh, we live in the desert where they just flat out might as well be myths. Now, Updated. it's not. It's not a. It's not too far fetched for you to know what lizardmen are and uh, and dark elves. Uh, no, what lizardmen are, but not the Skaven. Here, the folks well, uh, mean... the people. The, the nice people of Blue Street like to show up every once in a while to steal people. Oh yeah, that's right. Forget about that. The fort's name is Kamon Ta Tarek. As you get here, light this candle. It shall grant you access to it. Okay. Okay, guys, we should also be wary. It seems like looking at this map that there's dragons on multiple locations. Namely, the closest one being here. By the Black Tower. Okay, so let me add this to Flea my on the list. Root. Yes. I'm gonna add this to. I'm gonna add this to my list of items. Candle, a plot, to, a plot device. <laughs> no. Sorry, I had to. And uh... unfortunately, we do not have anything else to give you. Our other parties have already to have been sent for their journeys for the other items. That uh, his generals use. So, we don't have to. All your hopes aren't pinned on us. We just one of us does a CC, right? I have to ask. Does that say Spike Fort? Because that looks like Space Fort, and I'm really trying to imagine as anything other than Space Fort. Board, where do you think we get off the planet? No. <laughs> That's right, that's where the Skaven contacted the Eldar. <laughs> now, I highly recommend that you go to your families and say your goodbyes. The John action. Goodbye, my brother. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I go I'm find my there. grandfather. Yeah, that I never got to introduce. Gotta... Thanks to you. <laughs> yeah, give me a moment, I gotta I gotta go do that as well. <laughs> and and sorry has a good interpretation of how things are going. You're clearly our optimist, right? Yes. <laughs> Soul of our group, really. And my my character has no family, so if John Axon has any currently living, I'd probably go with him and say goodbye to them. <clears throat> Marshes of mad I madness. I have a grandson. So you have a granddaughter or a grandfather? Father. Okay. Oh, I don't have a granddaughter. I'm too young for that shit. Yeah. Yeah, so, yeah John it just walks down to where we're all, like, our like mini crypt is at. <laughs> to go see his dead relatives. <clears throat> dead relatives? Well, they're not alive anymore. Yeah, low life expectancy, like how short life expectancy is. Why is everyone's family dead other than mine? That's what I want to know. family's not dead. They're well, just, you know, well, in Nordland. Well, you know, you're an elf, so... Long-lived. I don't know, I'll probably have you, someone... How old were your parents when they had you? Jesus Christ. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> I don't know, we can't all be as fortunate as the elf to have living parents. Don't well, rub it in, buddy. Well, I mean, we're, I don't have living like parents, I have living grandparents. Thing. Jesus Christ. Well, going by the standards of uh, things, is I'm 25 years old, I imagine... 
I was imagined that I was birthed into the world by a fucking 14 year old. Such is the way of, um, of such is the way of medieval times. Yes. So, uh, I imagine she died during childbirth. Uh, aren't you supposed to be a noble? Yeah. By noble, <laughs> so you're... that... Well, yeah, it's the name. By noble, that means that, uh, at least in this scenario, I'm a descendant of the original, uh, group of people that showed up. In the desert. Now, in this strict situation, yeah, I imagine my mother died during childbirth, and I... Cannot imagine my father would have been as intelligent, like, well, was very intelligent, hence me. So I imagine he got himself fucking killed. As the village um, the elder comes up to you with, a, with his gun. <clears throat> Here, our tribe has gathered whatever meager supplies we could have for your travel. Here's some simple food and water that should last you for at least a month at, until Bell Ali. I appreciate the gesture. Right. And I take the, uh, the supplies oh, no that they're giving. Problem. We will not fail you. Now, my question is. How many supplies do you just give me, and how much? The, and I gotta figure out how much they weigh. Here, don't worry. I'll take the gold off your hand, so it weighs less. We have camels. Yeah. That is true. I also gotta. I also gotta carry this shit, yo. But yeah, we actually should split up the gold now. Who wants? How do you want to split up? We got. Yeah, because I'm gonna tell you this right now. I, I can tell you this right now. Um, I cannot carry the the, the next batch of rations I was just given. I'm already okay, I'm that's... already over encumbered as this. I'm almost over encumbered. I, I'm about to I have my... about 300 pounds that I can carry. Yeah, because uh, I'm at 301 right now. I'm about to fall okay. over. How do we determine how much we can carry? Uh, it's your encumbrance based on your strength times a number. I believe strength times 20. Oh, uh, mine's 410. Yeah, I would not be able to uh, carry the crown. Gonna have to be. How the fuck am I stronger than you? That, that makes no sense. I'm not strong. <laughs> what is your guy's strength? That's 41. That's 41. Uh -huh. So it's 30 times no. what? 30 times what? Do it. You don't have to worry about it. It will automatically tell you what your thing is. If you go to inventory, it'll tell you carrying max. Carrying max. So yeah, it's, it's for right carrying, it's times 300 or yeah, times yeah, 10. My, car my, my carry max is 330. Though. My push drag lift limit is 660. I got okay. 100 pounds of the both of you. Okay. Yeah, I'm I'd 300 like to, I'd and 600. Like, I'd also like to let you know that the reason why I'm over encumbered right now is because I'm carrying a shit ton of food. I bought a bunch of food before they decided to give us a bunch of food. Did you help with that? <laughs> so did I. Yeah, I have three weeks rations. Yeah, yeah you're yeah. not gonna run out of rations anytime soon. I, I... But yeah, let's let's divide the food. Oh, food. I mean, let's divide the money. Um, hundred twenty-five each. Hundred twenty-five. Okay, sorry, I thought it was... Do you need help carrying the month's ration, by the way? Because I got some room. Or at least I think I do. Please, I can I cannot carry probably an ounce of it. I need to say 125. I'm says the guy is <laughs> lugging a keg of beer. I can barely carry the fucking gold that it was given. <clears throat> by the way, at some point, can I switch out the beer and the keg to water? Sure. Okay. He, he's got a. Oh yeah, you buy a keg and you're carrying it. Not oh, a keg of beer. I bought a keg. No, that was me. I bought a. I bought a keg of beer. Okay, so you and Snappin had the exact same idea. You both bought a keg or something. Uh, oh, I did. Um... I didn't need the beer, but I drank it anyway. 
Oh, yeah, Just no, like for I... the convenience sake, by the way, you don't have to worry about the camels eating. Good, because I was good because I was gonna start naming them expendable rations. <laughs> so that was the case. Oh, you're not eating Heinrich. Heinrich is Heinrich and Joe. No, just the ones named. Uh, just the ones named emergency rations, man. That's, Heinrich that's is my mighty, out. mighty steed. Mighty war steed. Yes. The mighty war camel. Okay, so let's look at what we've got so far. For his territory. As the camel gives you a lick. Good job, Heinrich. Together we, we shall smite them all. We got a lot of dunes to deal with. Jesus Christ. Well, the, what do you expect? We're in the middle of a desert. <laughs> no, and hang on, hang on. Hang we'll on. add those skulls hang in the on. middle of the map for nothing. Hang on, hang on, hold the phone. I gotta rephrase what I just said, because I just said, Jesus Christ. Shalal is a lot of fucking desert to go through. Of course, what are you doing? We're <sighs> surrounded by deserts. What did you expect exactly? Okay, so, uh, first things first, I'm gonna ask for a copy of that map. Alright, yeah. You get a <laughs> nice little map. It's an old, 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 old map. Like, it doesn't have uh, a lot of, like, the rivers that now exist on the cities. But, uh, it's, it's pretty decent. We'll update this as much as we can and give it back as a gift. Yeah, that, that map is about, uh, oh, how many decades? <laughs> Couple hundred years. We've been in this. Uh, it depends how many generations have, are we. We're here since Sigma. We came here at when Sigma was alive and kicking. So. I'm trying to recall which emperor instituted the silver hand. Uh, oh, okay, fine. The silver hammer. Or. The sea. Templar, Witch Hunter... Yeah, Himself that founded our order. Nearly <laughs> 400 probably... years ago. <laughs> really old map. Really old map. That is incredibly out of date. I like how it still has... I like how it has Mordheim on it. Like one, of, one of our destinations is Mordheim. Well, well maybe one of the traders got you yeah, a little more detailed map uh, several hundred years ago. So like, hey, what? Just... You think that country no. still exists? That's hilarious. But hopefully this isn't during the end times, otherwise we're fucked. <laughs> well, if Nagesh is showing back up, yeah, it is during the end times. But enough of Fun! all this, enough of all this, out of, this. enough of all this I'm about to say, it's probably after the end times came up and this is the time of rebirth. Yeah, so anyways, enough of all this out-of-character nonsense, in which we're going on about lore and stuff that our characters may or may not know. Let's, let's get on with adventure, shall we? Yes, after your good pies, the shun signs, you feel your sweat glisten on your skin, and you start your journey, waving goodbye to the rest of this tribe that has come to say, Wave goodbye to you. So long Get and back in a couple of a year or two. <laughs> I give my village one yeah, last wave. A year or two. Yeah, same. You start your month long journey in the hot desert as you never have heard truly have traveled. It is a little bit harder to, for you than uh, usually. But uh, at least you have your camels. So you thank yourself for helping to get those camels. I'm glad I did that. I'm glad. Actually, no. You, uh, you, the the knight is responsible for the camels. I'm responsible for that little boy not drowning. So uh, I, I, I'm no knight, my lord. I'm merely a squire. Since this is the first Yo, time that. Uh, this is the first time that you guys have had a, a time to discuss between a, like, person to person. Would you be interested in talking to your other party members that uh, you have started your journey with? Yeah. So as he say that he's a squire and such, <laughs> I'm like, um, I'm a mage. That helps. Uh, do, do, are you a white mage? Can you heal? 
No, but I can do damage. A sword that does that, though. Yeah, if we could do it like magic can. I'd hate to come off a bit rude, but something about magic. Me. Well, I'm, I'm sorry. What did you say? You can't get out there. Oh, I said I'd hate to. I'd hate to sound rude, but something about magic has always unnerved me. No, well, perhaps it's the fact that we're on a quest to stop a magical thing. Don't like worry, I'm not going to do anything. I'm just going to help you guys. What about, the oh. what about the walking ghost over there that looks like she's pondering our impending doom? Wait, what? <laughs> My character sorry. looks over like, huh? <laughs> he's he's, he's referring to sorry. I'm sorry. Oh. I didn't realize she was a walking um. ghost considering she's browner than most of us. <laughs> Say, according to what she's been writing in the chat, she's apparently whiter than she's white while we're all getting a nice tan. Oh, that's right, that picture. Well, you know, she got a little bit better after uh, got a moment to consider what the hell they're up to and uh, thinking that okay, this is probably just some sort of old legend and they will actually not be, you know. A gazillion miles of travel up into the frozen north after an ancient object, probably uh, protected by some sort of fanatical uh, cult members that will kill them all. <laughs> That's some rational thing. <laughs> yes, because otherwise there might be some sort of uh, incentive to just find the closest tavern and uh, bail on the tribe. <laughs> I on bookworm she may run away. Note to self. Wait a minute. You don't... Wait, do you even know I that? I can't read. <laughs> yeah, how can you even not... write it, for that matter? <laughs> I like to think he writes everything out perfectly, then looks up and is like, I can't read this. <sighs> it's just, yeah, he, he, he stares at this, like, tome, looking at it intently. He's like, hmm, ah. What the fuck am I looking at? <laughs> <laughs> like, all this shit looks like gibberish to me. That's English. Lord, I found magical item. So, on your first half of the journey, as uh, you travel for about half a month, you come across an interesting scene, as on the middle of nowhere, in the desert, you see a abandoned campsite that doesn't look like it has been used in a long ass time. I look to the... Uh, look to the party. Should we stop the rest? Here. Well, I mean, what's going on here? Because why is there just a random campsite in the middle of the desert? You'd like me to scout it out, my lord. It seems that the camp site has been built into a small rock almost like as you see old pickaxes and a, a few support columns, uh, columns supporting this little nice safe looking uh, campsite I don't trust anything that's safe looking yeah look safe well. looking is a very mm. well I look to the group so, and I'm that's like that's a subjective term <laughs> yes well, I'd, ima my lord. I'd, I'd right. imagine that I'd imagine that someone had a nice rest here, not too. Well, it looks it looks long, picked over now. <clears throat> and you said there were like like there was like pillars. Is there like yeah a yeah they're, they're like uh it's like a huge freaking rock that was carved with a pickaxe to make like this little shelter. Oh, okay. Can we see any oasis or or similar around? Unfortunately, no. I look at my eye, like I point over. I point over at the rocks, and I'm like, "Look at them. They've been shaped. Somebody had. A, somebody spent a lot of time here just to abandon it." Exactly. Maybe something happened, so maybe it's bad. The two reasons you'd set up a camp like this and do all the work: you either have water nearby, or there's a rare, valuable mineral. Well, judging by the pics, <laughs> perhaps some dwarves are by here. Dwarves exactly? Oh, here? <laughs> Where exactly are we? on the map are we? 
Sinar closes her eyes and tries to sense um, if there's something magical going on. You're about halfway too, so, so you're somewhere around there. There's anything living in <laughs> you? Unfortunately, you tap into the... Your senses, but uh, unfortunately, the heat is just unbearable. My character will also do this. So um, close, but so far away. A doing... mage is being ever so helpful. You're doing slightly better, yeah. but unfortunately, even the heat... Are you being a magist? <laughs> <laughs> so it's kind of... <clears throat> Could I try common knowledge? I assume it's not actually the Empire in this case, but uh, what's... Araby? Yeah. Araby, yeah. Right. I I will see if uh, if I've actually read something about this place, possibly from a legend. Oh! <laughs> well, you have heard of uh, like travelers of uh, making shelters for other <laughs> travelers to take like uh, say like safety in, in the case of like sand yeah, storms and stuff I like know. that. Yeah, I don't know. I've never known. Yeah, you're just I freaking can... amazed that uh, they managed to carve up that much space in the rock. They must have had a lot of time. Well, Holland Van Justice has certainly got it going on. <laughs> you I'm a... very well read for something, can read. <laughs> Please. Somebody said, somebody, yeah, you read, so somebody had to meticulously explain this to you. Yes, have... I've paid very well attention in the story time. You have heard of these kinds of uh, crafted uh, traps, pretty much, as they leave the water supply tainted, and you never have seen anybody come back from these. Or at least that's how the legend goes. I remember a story time that, uh, remember the story time, Lord. Uh, that, uh, what was the name of the old lady that took care of us in our childhood? Oh, um, sweet Jesus, how is her name pronounced? The, the old, the nice old lady that took care of us. Katja? Yeah, Katja. 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 Katja much said a story Katja. about this, did she not? About how set up these elaborate traps and poison the water source. I'm willing to bet she did. I don't just, remember. You know, I'm, willing to, I'm willing to bet she did possibly relate the story to you, but I was a little bit too busy staring at the pretty girl over the river. Oh, for the love of Pete. My character rolls her, uh, her eyes at, what, at last comment like, uh, oh, really? I couldn't, I couldn't help it, you know? <laughs> Maybe if you thought, oh, thinking about that for a second, you might actually learn something. It's okay. That's what I'm here for. Well, I did learn something. I learned hey, something. great. The squire is here to teach us. Hey, yes. hey, I, I, I did learn something. One, that she has excellent fishing Why? techniques. So, yeah, that's, I'm pretty wonderful. sure that's the only <laughs> technique you were interested in. <laughs> Question is, uh, do you know with this noise? Oh, do you got a problem with that? Or, uh, shall you move on? Well, if it's trapped, why don't we move on, I guess? Well, well, you just know that the water oh. supply has been very much poisoned in this case. Yeah, the water supply is trapped. Is there anything of value here, though? Well, we have funds, and time is of more importance than treasure. That's certainly true. But I would like to, do, you know, I'd like to do something. I'd like to kind of destroy the water supply. I wouldn't be able to leave this place in good conscience if someone else. I think it's already right destroyed. Well, like he means, like absolutely, just get rid of it. Yeah, like I'd like, I'd, I'd like want to push the sand and kind of bury it. You know how to write, like... do you not? I do. Lord, can you write? These words exactly down for me on a piece of paper. Which words? Carve them into the stone here. 
Alright, I uh, look. <laughs> Why are full? Instead of oh, like the person that in charge, the person in charge of this place are assholes. That's fun. warning to all. Yeah, so I'll, I'll write on the uh, like I'll like try and carve. I guess since I have to carve, uh, the water is poison. It says assholes. Mm -hmm. Do you want me to roll, read, and write, sir? No, no, you you write it. Okay. <laughs> yes, roll. What language do you put it in? Arabic or right spiel? Right <laughs> spiel? <laughs> no, but uh, as you write it and uh, approach the campsite, probably leave the note there, you see an old corpse near a well that has been constructed here. The well seems uh -huh. uh, full, and you see uh, this poor old corpse. A skeleton with a cup in his hand, reaching to the well for a last sip before he. Well, dies. I guess the answer is that question. Uh, I, I, I approach the little corpse and look at, and you know, just give him a look. Do you have any like <laughs> canteens or anything that I can fill with poisoned water? <laughs> I look, I look, I look back. I'm like, certainly not. So I'm not give. <laughs> Yeah, that, that could lead to, I could see that leading to a problem later. We just roll like a bat on something and we accidentally drink poisoned water. I'd sooner go for a swim in quicksand. The corpse still has its clothes on. It seems kind of close. Nobody has touched him in a long time. Oh, travel rights. Meant for uh, desert traveling. I give like the skeleton like a little pat on the shoulder. It's like. I'm sorry, you're from, I'm sorry, the only drink we got for- and that's all we got. But, uh, yes, I will probably take the skeleton... ...bury it. Mm -hmm. Give it a nice little funeral, right? For rights, for whatever our tribe has. Um, if you're curious, as you're going, uh... Carrying his corpse, you see a slip of paper in a, his pocket. I, I can't when I'm burying him. I take it out from him burying him. Look at it. Does it have those strange archaic letter things? Yeah, it, is, it has some uh, writing for in it. You recognize this? That uh, pretty much the same as your master writes. Yeah. Who do you hand it to? Me, Cinewar. In my pocket. I'll put it in my pocket for now and then bury this guy. I'll give the. I'll well, give here's it. the thing is, if you let me speak, I was gonna say while you were moving it over, I was gonna take it. Oh well. It's my. I have it like Princess carrying the bones. You're not seeing that thing. Oh my god. Yes, I am. Yes, I'm carrying it away. You do really like can actually look over while you're carrying away. It's not entirely hidden from view. Lord later. <laughs> Meanwhile, Sidar Meanwhile. continues to plot the course. <laughs> yep. Yeah, thanks for trusting us, asshole. Members of your party, thanks. You, you take a little while to bury the corpse, and uh, now you have a note. Well, a slip of paper. One of those note things that I think it's one of those love notes that you kept passing around to all the other girls. A chuckle at that. It looks uh, like one of them. It. Let me see the notes. Perhaps it'll give us some uh, hints as to who these two people were. Alright. You read the note, and uh, it immediately goes into cursing. Fuck that bastard. He betrayed me. Damn that half him. I will kill him even in my next life. <clears throat> Can't breathe. I can feel my life slipping away. Anybody reading this, do not drink. Don't drink. Uh, uh. Well, you certainly did that, man. Just as it really did sound like you were. Yeah. <laughs> but anyways, 
Anyways, yeah, so... Uh, it's like Monty Python, where he writes out what was happening on the game. <laughs> you just see the... Uh, uh, yeah. uh. <laughs> That's good stuff, though, man. Can we just write out... Ah! <laughs> no, not... Ah! Uh. I don't know. And then you read off, and then I read off in the, like, tiny corner, Erod Domus Romanus. <laughs> I'm like, that's not Romans go as, home. As you go after buried this corpse, you head on with your camels as you okay, feel so... as you feel some kind of an, a good feeling in your back that uh, you have done the good deed. Yes. Only for chaos to show them burn yourself. I look over at uh I look over at Cinoar. So, you have the map. Does the terrain look rough ahead? It'll get more hilly before we reach... Was it? Bel Alad? Bel Alid. Bel Alid. Yep. But for the foreseeable oh, no, future, worse. it'll be, be the same way so far. Like that. I'm just gonna call it Bel Air. <laughs> is there a prince there? Yes, he's is very he fresh. Dope. He's fresh as hell. <laughs> For the next you just year, came from the Empire. Yep. For the uh, rest of the month, your travel um, is qu uh, you travel quite fast. In fact, you arrive at Bilalid uh, a week earlier than uh, you were planning to. It seems that you managed to either got really lucky or accidentally found a shorter path or... Well, that's the same thing as luck. Derp, Marcus. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, such, either such way... We found a shorter route through barren featureless desert. <laughs> Makes sense. <laughs> you know, we were, we were playing Oregon Trail and we didn't get the event for Trail despite it being a beeline. Anyways, in the distance, you see the capital of Araby, Bel Ali. Its great walls seems inviting, <laughs> even though the city has seen its fair of... Uh, uh, seen many wars, and you see the walls and buildings have been damaged. I feel like many, a, many people uh, It, uh, <laughs> At least uh, some months ago. Okay. It is, you even see like construction work, as you see, poor, helpless, half naked men and women repairing the wall with well, whatever they can. I point over to the uh, oh yeah, it's an emotion like at the squire, and I'm like, look there. Look. I'd say. Please One or two no. months ago, they got sacked. Can I can I tell with my semi training of military if they were sacked, if they actually repelled or no? Uh, I guess you could give me like a some kind of a knowledge check, empire or uh... well, the empire. Common <laughs> knowledge. War. I know all. Oh yeah, uh, you know that they managed to repel them uh, because there's no way that a force of bandits could take a city of this size as you see, like, clear bandit signs. But I believe that it is impossible for any, a bandit of any thing less than an <laughs> army size to take a city, especially a walled one, of this size. Easily repelled it. I don't hear much information I, from the slam, but I'm told the from the bandits being attacked, like the bandit signs. Yes, I don't ever hear much from this land, but I'm told, at least from one scout or two, that the sultans here are harsh. Well, I suppose we should be careful then, not to step on any feet. Mm. Okay, we don't yes, look like no bandits. Feet. No feet stepping, and certainly so, we should try and keep their laws if possible. Mm -hmm. You <clears throat> arrive at the gates, and the cards let you in, as you seem quite harmless travelers. Just seek it for shelter. As you were given a 
directions to Samir Bolcher's house. But uh, as you go through the city, you see many of the cars and citizens looking quite depressed and uh, some of them even injured. And since whatever they have gone through has affected them as the mood here seems low. I'm I going to I'm going to roll gossip. I'm gonna try and pick up some local news. Well yeah, I was yeah, just gonna go up to a random person I and shall... ask Yeah, you know, what's going on around here. Yay! <laughs> gossip! Do you hear um uh, that the previous guard captain suddenly came down with an illness and crew some kind of an extra arm and took some of the city cards talking about some kind of an prophecy coming up and suddenly they started to see walking skeletons nearby it seems that, that the bandit creepy. attack wasn't just any ordinary bandit attack it seems that this captain won that this city Alrighty then. Asked, <laughs> asked forty people because wait, 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 wait. That's that's how much I can ask for gossip with my public speaking. Wait, wait, wait. Um, did someone did did you did, did they mention that the guard captain grew an extra arm? Yes. Yes. The fuck. Right. Odd. That doesn't sound like it should happen that often, if at all. I make an <laughs> academic knowledge check to see if that's ever happened before. I guess a genealogy check. <laughs> common, oh, wow. common lore medicine. It would be genealogy. I know things about genes. You, are you a gene stealer? So is that close. What this is? So close. <laughs> He says that's more to do with ancestry and such and stuff like that. Technically, not... technically works because to do that you have to be able to trace genes, genetic things. Technically works. Yeah, but and that would require you to actually understand what genes are, which I do. You in the current setting, I don't think you do. None. I mean, you know what? You know what? You you understand know what? Noble I'm, birth. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna roll common knowledge. Let's see. Well, in this case, it'd be RB, but or RB or the Empire. I mean, we. Yeah, I have one work, so I'm just gonna rule yeah, that yeah, you can yeah. use yeah, both. What I was gonna, what I was gonna do is I was gonna roll because I was gonna see if there, if if the Empire ever had like a word for people who had like multiple appendages, and see if Freaks I can. Nature? Well, yeah, because I'm I'm trying to I'm searching for the word mutant or beastman, and I fucked up. Yeah, no, 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 no. Yeah, you don't oh. exactly. Heard rumors about it. Yeah, so uh, you know, this is all no. news to me. I mean, everything here is news to me because <laughs> I don't know a damn thing about these people. Yeah, you might Would, have uh, traveled to magic. Uh, have any? I was about to say, <laughs> one of the magic people know about the person that grew a third arm. Yeah. Can I roll? If you have, yeah, you could potentially now actually. Bo. Oh, yeah, um, you have not heard of from the Shamans as you were under her tutelage for all of those years that, uh, it's... I was it's, under the tutelage of my grandfather, I'm telling you that right now. Yeah, it can happen if a pe person has been corrupted by, uh, by evil magic and use a... Give it an edu educated guess that it might be something to do with the on oncoming blood moon. So yeah, I informed the group that you know that it's possible that the scar captain was corrupted somehow, and it might be related to this upcoming event. <laughs> Hell, it even reminds me of it reminds you of an old story called End Times. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it might have something to do with the end times. Oh, well, I whisper that one so no one else can hear it because fuck the oh, people. Oh no, no! Everyone knows that the end times was prevented by the noble knight, his Holland von Justice. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it will be when you actually do it. Yeah, 
then I will. Because my lord will probably order me to do that at some point in time. <laughs> you just need to order you, ooh, and it's done. It's just done. <laughs> it is. That's how it works. I got an order, it's gotta be done. After, uh, you have finished with this, you come, um, travel to the merchant house where you have been instructed to go. You see a team of cards and a big bloat in, fr in the middle of them, yelling orders and seeming pissed off as hell as he's like pushing some of the cards out of their way he seems well, to that have guy a, doesn't look friendly he seems to have a this is insignias of a captain this must be the new captain well, that guy doesn't look friendly to, your Magic sends to, to check if he is also about to sprout any extra appendages <laughs> We might, we're gonna need to be on the lookout for that, so I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, there it is. Better go if you're curious what he looks like. He seems Holy to be strapping a gigantic like a cannon in one hand and a gigantic cyber in one of the, his other ones. He seems to be wearing some kind of an iron mask. <gasps> He's hiding his yeah. face because it's made out of tentacles. He is Iron Man. Wiggly. Unfortunately, he, he doesn't seem to be corrupted by the forces of evil. Unfortunately. But, uh, <laughs> all right, I see how it is. <laughs> well, he's well, not visibly or well, my, magically. My lord, my lord, I believe this is your time to show us why you are the noble and have your silver tongue. After all, your your job. Yes. Uh, allow me a moment. And I, uh... Who died and made you later? Walk up... <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, I walk up over to the, uh... Right. To the, the guard captain who seems to be really infuriated about something in, at Samir's house. As you approach, you hear his words really, really loudly and clearly as he's yelling on the top of his lungs. As he yells out, That no good trash sailman has been missing! And it's been tasked to me to find him as he spits on one of the cards' faces and chops his head off. I want that. He actually chops his head off? Yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. But I won't lift a fucking finger to find that trash man. <laughs> uh... As he walks towards <laughs> you and fucking pushes you out of the way. And yells out, my way is the only way. I look towards the other cards. If there is any, I know one of them got Jesus fucking Christ. decapitated. <laughs> Get the hell out of to give last rights to a fallen warrior. As uh, one of the cards, man, uh, well, most of them leave, but uh, one of them comes to up to you and says, Oh, I'm oh, sorry that you had to see that, citizen. <laughs> How terribly inconvenient. You know, yeah. Uh, uh, what happened with your guard, so Captain? I know, so I know this is a bad time to ask, but uh, but Samir happened to be here. <laughs> Sounds like he isn't. No, he, he was... Uh, got missing a little while ago. The rumor says that he started to... Seek for some treasure, and uh, our card captain, who was recently honorated ever since uh, our old card captain went missing, as he clearly is I, nervous, uh, as he says. Yeah, uh, I cough as he says missing. <laughs> so, Hotham here I has been uh, very clearly about our task right lately. What did you say, Drew? Well, he sounds he sounds dedicated, if nothing else. Um, but Samir, he went missing to go search for some treasure. Do you know what it's he's searching for? No, I suggest that you ask the, <clears throat> her his sec secretary. Do you know where she, he or she might be? Uh, she's still inside. Be, be careful. <clears throat> she is. Little concern, but I. Just fine. Alright. No, excuse uh, me, I gotta go to my duties. Yeah, I suggest you do that. He seems quick on the hill. <laughs> and, uh. 
we can't the kill. Yeah. A bolster. Doing rest rights to the guard. He doesn't need his money anymore, does he? <laughs> he doesn't I, uh... have any money, really. All he has I, I is not... uh, his head and his core, uh, like body, <laughs> and the spit of the card captain <laughs> in, in see, his face. You, you, you see a bunch of urchins run over and loot the body. <laughs> Drive the urchins oh away. yeah, a lot of like the urchins and poor city folk. Take your shoes, just... take your shoes. <laughs> <clears throat> Thank you for the new shoes. It's like that scene in Lord of War where everybody just strips down that plane in about two seconds. <laughs> <sighs> Alright, so I knock on Samir Boltz's door. Oh yeah, uh, the door is open. You enter this quite fancy merchant house. You haven't seen riches like this, well, ever. The shine of it is uh, quite alluring. Eh, we are not tempted by mortal gains. We fight for a higher purpose. As you see, I'm quite a young female. In, uh, one of the de uh, behind one of the desks. Higher purpose. Shut up. Kinda. I'm just going around and looking at all this fancy stuff. Like, whoa, what's going on here? Can I make a genealogy text to see if, how fancy I should be? Uh, oh. yeah, we we'll save for this that. <laughs> But yeah, well, you, you see this. Dinamora uh, says, Dinamora says higher purpose. Let me see if, uh, let me see if John action is immediately smitten. No. <laughs> Look at that shit. He barely resists the urge. <laughs> he, he, yeah. He's just like this close <laughs> to go. <laughs> just hitting on her. As, as beautiful as his beautiful. John action. She's back home. She's gonna get her goddammit. Is there any uh, heraldry that I would recognize? Oh yeah, um... There's all kinds of, like, treasures that uh, you have heard about. Like, there's uh, six sort of, like, potions that especially interest you that uh, you have heard about. Is he a merchant or a treasure hunter? He, he, Not all of these, my lord, me, like, in kind of a semi-loud voice go like, and that's that, and that's that, kind of like a tour guide. The most expensive item that you see in the potion section of this puzzle is a potion in a glass case that is said to even revive a person from the dead. Mike, but yeah, as you're going oh, yeah. through, uh, should, you know, telling him all this, I'm asking, I'm just asking you questions about it. <laughs> it legend says that it's just from this and that it was made of these ingredients. Yeah, I have to ask, is your name Lara Croft? Lara of the Croft? But yeah, you see the secretary over there in the desk, kind of crying. This you is know. the soft crying secretary. <clears throat> yeah. As she Someone notices um, her, perhaps. Is everything okay, ma'am? As she notices you. Uh, uh, who are you? More cards? Uh, um, no. no. Who are you? We're... I look to our noble. <laughs> We're travelers seeking Samir Boltrus, but, uh... As it was made apparent to us at the door, he is... missing. Uh, I was told to come to you. Yes, Samir, that old fool went to search the Eye of the Panther and he hasn't come back. What is this Eye of the Panther? It is a gem that is in a nearby cave said to be worth quite a few coins and uh, been lost for decades now. How long has he been missing? About a month or so. He did bring a lot of supplies with him and uh, guards with him. I, I suggest that... Uh, well, I suspect that he is still alive. He was always resourceful. Um, where exactly did he go? 
How far yeah. away is it? As she pulls out the map and shows you, oh, there's a cave named towards the Eye of the Panther. It was given a legend as no travelers have come back from it, and a, an old panther was said to live there long time ago. So how far away is it? Yeah. It's I know, we, t we came this far in about a week, so... <clears throat> well, it no, was we about a uh, month. Three weeks. Um, yeah, it was about a month, but uh, you actually managed to shorten it, so it's about uh, uh, a bit over a week to the Eye of the Panther cave. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, then, yeah, by the time we make it to the Eye of the Panther, we would have been on schedule for making it to Bellin. Because it took us about three weeks to make it to here. Yep, three and a uh, couple of days. Yeah, so, um, I was like, well, we can certainly head down there and look for him. It doesn't seem like the new guard captain, I should say, uh, is highly interested in going to search for him. Time of day. Guard, his name, and I remember that note, but I... Yeah, we could, we could, you know, yeah, we could certainly go find him. Get what we need from him and bring him back, and more importantly, I think it would make the guard captain happy that he wouldn't have to worry. Uh, as real quick, was, as, if he, as if he was worrying to the begin with. Quick, well, uh, what, why was yeah. he worrying? Why does he want to see him? I don't know. The guy has a potion that can raise the dead. I'm assuming well, there's something valuable that I, he I, has. I, I, the... I look. I look back to. Uh... How is your name pronounced? Afiana. I look back to Afiana. It's like, well, the few times I remember him showing up to village, uh, he took a, he, he he is probably more smooth talking than I. He last time our village artisan was supposed to make up a deal with him. She, yeah, because you're so smooth talking. You're such a smooth talker. I've never met. I've never met a girl that hasn't said that hasn't said no. Him. <laughs> that's that's different. I was about to say current party member included, of course. Well, I uh, haven't asked. I haven't asked. So. So uh, can I exactly. say that because of my roll of a six that I know what was just pasted there? <laughs> yes. Pointed it out immediately. The legend has it that the Eye of the Panther allows you to move through time if you play the tune, allowing you to train up and learn new skills and gain strength in a short duration, which in legend is called a montage. In this case, it's just a really valuable gem. It sounds like it, Jesus Christ. Hold it to your ear just right. You Wait, can sound hold on. on. <laughs> you hear the survivor Eye of the Tiger. Yes. Oh, uh, <laughs> I kept the song's been reading Eye of the Panther. Can I go up to the secretary and just kind of <clears throat> go to the side of my lord and just go like, uh, excuse me, what's your name, ma'am? Oh, me. I am... And then do the oh. polite princess kiss thing with it, you know. She probably she is a lady. Yeah. Thank you. Now I will uh, ask: uh, Does did your uh, employer have uh, travel in the company of a man named? Um, yeah, the only man that I know is the card captain, by that name. Oh, she. Well, the captain's name is Hatem. How interesting. Yeah, if you, Thank uh, you. if you check out the supporting cast and uh, the desert section, there's a new little character sheet, and uh, his name definitely was Hatem if you didn't catch it. Uh, Hatem was the name of the, uh, what was it now, the 
I'm pretty sure it's not pronounced betrayed. Like, the hey, guy yeah. that betrayed the guy that we found that was dead. So that's interesting. I'm not gonna say that out loud, of course. Oh no. Um, time of day is it? It's about uh, afternoon or so. Okay. So, my lady, would you be willing to allow us to stay here while we then, so in the morning, we may go out and find your employer? Oh, of, of course. That, uh, that would be wonderful. I'm sure that uh, he would give you a big reward if you find him. And uh, rescue him. He is reward enough. Oh, please, while, while we're here, why don't you uh, sh show us around the place and give us a more proper tour than the one I was giving? Yeah, and tell us all about this cool stuff. I'm very yeah. interested about the artifacts yeah. you have, especially yeah, that you... potion of necromancy. Yeah, you uh, you three have a nice tour. I'm going to go see if I can't pick up some more information about this cave. Yeah, pick up some more chicks. As you leave, I grab you yes. by the shoulder. I'm gonna trust you to be by yourself. I expect you to come <clears throat> back in one piece and with only one person yourself. <laughs> is, there, is there little? Is there that little trust? I don't know. Where you gonna go pick up nice. chicks? <laughs> yeah, I'm like, I don't know. Where you gonna go pick up chicks as well? <laughs> Trust, and then there is certainty. I'm certain that you cannot contain it. <laughs> okay, okay. I promise I won't go spelunking in an inn. <sighs> Her? Hold out my uh, pinky. Uh, please. I bet the moment he sees a pretty one, forgetting what he was originally doing. He oh. is never. The my lord has never broken the pinky swear. Well, so I suppose we'll see. <laughs> let's go roll that gossip again. Fuck. Gotta re-roll that shit. You if end I, uh... up in the brothel. <laughs> <laughs> Much better. Oh, the pinky swear. Well, the pinky um, swear holds true. So, yeah. Uh, you have a ni nice quite a tour of the merchant houses. The secretary told choose his potions and Weapons and uh, armor and uh, all kinds of valuables that uh, this merchant has. This is a man? Out. Yeah, uh, well, Samir is the man uh, that, um. Uh, but the secretary man? is uh, female. Okay. As she is explaining uh, what Samir has been picking up over the years, like you hear of like war items and uh, all kinds of legendary pirate. Like I just as we're going through the exhibits, I guess like, you know goes through it like that. Oh wow, cool kind of thing. <laughs> as uh, John Action goes through the streets and uh, asks about the asks about the eye of the panther, but uh, most of the citizens either kind of ignore you or just really want to talk about it and whatever information you get from it it's like oh like a 20 feet panther lives there don't go there all all kinds of just legendary bullshit that you would hear about okay about gossip occasionally you get just that gossip yeah, yeah. well i mean that's what i was expecting well, one, one of them is like oh yeah the panther breeds fire yeah, like, I was expecting rumors. It would just give me a theory about what the hell we're expecting. The best thing that you find is, uh, yeah, one of the dwarven people who lived here remembered that a uh, old dwarven party might have been traveling over there at one time. But, uh, that's about it. <laughs> Balboa of rock. <laughs> so you go <clears throat> back to the merchant house and uh, you sleep uh, for the night and uh, wake up refreshed in the morning. I assume the city I... has wells; otherwise, it wouldn't be much of a city, right? Oh yeah, it, it, it has plenty of wells. 
20 yes. million wells, I might say. Which means, Absolutely. finally get a bath after the fucking month, weeks long journey through the desert. The, the death march we were doing. Yes. Mm -hmm. But I'd also like to note that we're in a nice big city. We have a lot of money. No, uh, you, he was, she was talking about, uh, at John Action. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you're turning into him. <laughs> His womanizing ways. But no, I'm not womanizing. This is a young, smart, attractive person, and my character would probably, you know, talk. No, I know, but that's thing. my point. Is that you're turning into someone who's like, you know, you only focus on women. That's the way she's seeing it. That's all what I'm telling you. She's accusing Obviously, you. You're... She's accusing you of being a lecher. When I when I abandoned a young, attractive female here and went off to go do something else. I thought would be productive. I'm getting shit for it. Yeah, yeah, whatever. So she's accusing you of being sexist because you're not interested in talking with males. I wouldn't say lecher. I mean, not I mean not lecher, but I wouldn't say sexist. Just womanizing. <laughs> so yeah, it it is the morning you now. You eat breakfast and uh, are heading, ready to head out. So the question is, <laughs> shall you go after Samir or shall you travel <laughs> onward, <laughs> onward on your journey? My character just looks at Sinar. I didn't call anyone a ledger. She looks at you with like, what <laughs> kind of eyes? You're just like, huh? I don't know what a ledger is. No, she knows what a ledger is. She's just confused why she's saying I called someone a ledger. <laughs> uh, call people names. Yes. I mean. Yes, don't call people names. It's unbecoming of you. You are a ledger. But I didn't call someone a ledger. What, what would I even call someone that? That's not even an insult. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. Who knows what the ins Who knows what could have been implied there? I mean, it's it's an obvious insult to a proud warrior to be called a book. Yeah, probably would. It's, it's the most roundabout way of saying fucking nerd. <laughs> you're Zeech, you're a nerd. No! I imagine that's what Korn says to him every day. Nerd. You freaking ledger. <laughs> I just imagine Zeech is like, no! Quick. Quickly, take his uh, lunch runs away. So, yeah, the uh, question was, what do you do? Well, well tomorrow, I guess we're going to be going with, to the um, Eye of the Panther. Alright. That, that seems like a decent idea. So, oh, in the... restack and water and all that stuff, and then also, you know, ask for any relative information that the woman has. How far actually is the, uh, the cave with the giant panther? A oh, week uh, or so. Uh, I'll be there one uh, week. Right. Like a week right. and uh, two days, I would say. So you would be fulfilling your month's worth of travel that uh, you were. That we have to... rations for. Yeah. All right. It, it, it would be the week backwards, back to Bella lead, but uh, yeah. So yeah, five, five weeks, two or five weeks, six days total. So yep. We took three weeks, two days to get here, another week, two days to get there, another week, week, two days to get back. So that's five weeks, six days. Well, you do have some extra rations that you bought before you started traveling. And uh, yep. you are in a big city if you need any rations. Yep. Yeah, he just said he was stocking up on flies. So. Yep. Yes. Um, Do we need any... <sighs> Well, warriors would know what the heck do you kill a 20 foot panther with? Warrior? What? He said the warriors would know what do you kill a 20 foot panther with. I know, but. There's a 20 foot panther? <laughs> That's what the well, legends I... say. 
when I was uh, trying to pick up some information, most of what I got seemed like, you know, typical legends. Uh, most spoke of it being a 20-foot panther with the ability to breathe fire. That whole, seems a bit ridiculous. Would, yes, and the whole cabin would shake with one, like, movement of its tail. That, and it shoots lightning out of its ass or some shit, I don't know. The only, I, the only. That sounds funny, got, but <laughs> the only tidbit I got that seemed remotely interesting was uh, apparently some dwarves were traveling through that area. If we hmm. run into them, perhaps we can enlist their aid. Dwarves like caves, right? <laughs> Generally speaking, that's why they are usually in mountains. There were two dwarves in our village, and one of them always kept going grandfather's exploits. I just assumed they loved caves. So, you head on off after restocking with uh, food and water. Yes. After a short trip of a week, which is a lot nicer than the mo almost a month that you were in the hot desert. Um, you might... Uh, uh, let me transfer the map. Did anyone actually pick up a spear or something? You come across this scene. You see... I was staff. <laughs> oh shit, we already left town? Oh yeah, you... you uh, well, you had some time, so if you needed to get something, you can buy it. Okay, because I was, I was wondering, was like, were we gonna, were we gonna pick up any equipment? Money we had, or was that gonna be a big old no? Yeah, you can buy. I recommend that you all get tents so you're not all sleeping in mine. Anyways, <laughs> after the short trip, you come across a cave entrance that has been half buried by sand. You may give me an easy perception plus twenty. Question, Marcus: When you sell something, what is the uh, how much money do you get for it? Uh, I'm just gonna value? say half, half uh, okay. of the price that's listed in the book. Jesus. Okay. Okay, so let's see here. You can quite easily see whatever was buried here was forcibly, forcibly opened by black powder or some kind of an explosive. Why is your target number so low for perception? I... My uh, squires aren't meant to see things that are unseen. Squires are meant to kill things that are seen. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> okay, now I need to do one more thing. Surely do the thing! Lord, we should take the high ground. As you the ground. approach the cave entrance, you see a couple of wooden barrels and uh, some uh, sacks full of. Uh, Filled with rations, it seems, uh, and a couple of things. It seems that uh, whatever who came here was using this little side as their temporary shelter. The Lord, I look code. for any obvious signs, you know, labels or something. <clears throat> you notice that um, there are still footprints going inside of the cave. Which is oh. lucky, since uh, it hasn't been moved that windy lately. Since this is, since our guy was probably here, it may be him that, went, that had this base set up. This mm. camp area. Okay. <clears throat> you look inside of the cave, and it seems quite dark. Almost pitch black. The only way that uh, you can see something inside is the sunlight. Okay. Curious typing. No, I'm just typing normally. Curious. <laughs> no, just typing normally. Blow up the rest of the gigs just to bury yourself. <laughs> No, oh, no, no. What I mean is something easily so, like, for instance, if we need to run out of the cave because something's chasing us, like a panther or something, 
like a 20 foot panther that breathes fire and shoots yes. light out of its butt. Yeah, like, um, with an then int just, like, at least lever there, and uh, you look at this cave entrance and uh, you figure out that uh, this size of a panther couldn't fit through this, but uh, then again, this was recently blown open, so it might be still hold true. Hmm. <sighs> And again, it seems like this was the old tr entrance, but it was just buried with sand, so... Okay. Well, just reduce my, I just can... reduced my carrying weight significantly, guys. So, you do. Um, shall you uh, head inside? I got rid of some things and bought a thing. Well, I'm just gonna assume that uh, you head inside. Yes, light the torches! Yeah. You I will be up front with my shield ready. You enter the pitch black cave. Luckily, you have your torches ready, so you can see I will some, not be carrying one. something in in front of you. Okay, he said pitch black cave, and not bitch. Do I just do my magic light thing? <laughs> All right. and, uh, Hello, that's are you are you sure lighting. you want to tempt the winds of magic when we have perfectly good torches? Fair point. Anyways, the first thing that you I don't see, know why it's fair point, but it's a fair point. The first thing that you immediately see is an old, well, not an old, but a dead corpse of a dwarf. It seems quite recent. Of a what? A, a, a dwarf. dwarf. A dwarf. Perhaps this, perhaps this was a member of that company. <clears throat> As you look upon his corpse, you see a bunch of darts that are stuck into his body. If you know medicine, you may give me a a medicine check, or I, I guess academic knowledge would no no, no to clue. You. Yeah, sadly, there's not an academic knowledge for that one. Just common knowledge. Well, you can give me a good common knowledge. You might have heard of this. Oh, and uh, if you want, you can give me a free perception check. Let's say I would like to try and search around and see if there was like a Indiana Jones series of holes that these came Let's out of. Let's try that. Let's try that common knowledge. Wow, that was. Barely a fail. Shit. Oh yeah. Um. As you look at upon the walls, you see small little holes that uh, these darts must have came off. As you see many other um, darts on the ground, just lay there that haven't hit anything except the walls. All right, roll twenty. I see how it is. <laughs> you, you can I take? Can I take these darts? By the way. <laughs> Uh, well, uh, you assume that, uh, whatever, uh, uh, well, you actually take a closer look at the darts with our perception checks. Some of them still have a hint of weird liquid looking uh, substance on their tips. Perhaps poison? Okay, allow me to go first. I put my shield above my head. But the poison definitely has been dried up well, some time ago, and I do think it might be safe. I might even attempt it. No, no. I, I can sense the deceit in the GM's voice. Roll detect lies. So we're staring oh, no. at some, uh, we're staring at suspicious liquid on darts. Yes, I am. I'm not. I'm I'm looking towards that way with my shield up and slowly advancing with my sword out, taking a clear, careful eye on the walls. Be that poison or venom, or well, some other came from a dart. Suspicious I'm guessing liquid. poison. Lord, venom comes from an animal, though it may be coated in venom, it is more likely poison. Yeah, what he said. 
Lord, there's a, there's a secret pass over here. Not secret anymore, though, because I spotted it with my keen eyes. Because I, Kino Sicarius! You see an old torch over here on the ground that has been dropped. Care about the passage to my north. I don't want anything flanking us. What's, what's this other person doing? Why is, why is she standing back? She's checking the allegiance of the, uh, the sea store. Finally, the, uh... Oh, um, it seems that, uh... He's some kind of a mercenary, uh, is he, since he has, like, a symbols of a mercenary. So... Oh. Mercenary, so, right. To say, I, I wish well, I had known that, I would have rolled heraldry. Her I'll, uh... That's I'll take if he has any, any, you know... Necklace or something that could potentially be a uh, a way of identifying the dead, since we're going to be apparently going to a uh, dwarven settlement later on. Well, um, he definitely has like this uh, dog tags, very very rudimentary since it is the medieval times. But uh, yeah, it has his name. It's um, Gelgar. The Spoon. Right. Gelgar? Alright, I see how it is. What was it, Gelgar? They're way up north, like this way. That was my dwarf that was my dwarf character in the Sea Bass campaign. Right. Gum. Anyways, you, you, you have the uh... passage there, but I will secure this so we do not get flanked. Alright, um, well, yep, yeah, you want to get flanked. Oh, thank you. What haven't I? What haven't I? Phenomena. Phenomena. I'm right. Stop and listen for any uh, sounds of panthers or something similar. Well, are any, are I... there any 20 foot fire breathing panthers around? Well, as you look up, uh, as you move there, the first thing that you see is a gigantic stone statue of a panther just looking oh, fiercely she... to create any visitor to come into this cave. It's 20 feet tall. <laughs> as it has its open mouth, as you see on some kind of a flame still inside of its mouth, lighting the way for any visitors. From well, huh. looks like we found our fire-breathing panther. Just to be sure. Close eyes, focus, magic sense. <laughs> yeah, I was about to do this. So. Uh, well, with that perception, you see, like, small little holes as you see some kind of sand crickets in them, ready to fight you, but uh, <gasps> you realize that uh, they're afraid of the fire. Wait, what? <laughs> All huh. intent justice died. Is uh, Drew's died in the uh, Discord. So we... Well, that is useful knowledge. It appears Blood. that the uh, sand <laughs> crickets are afraid of fire. So yeah, no, no, keep no, the no. torches on us at all time. Got it. Like, oh, over there you see one that's ready to jump out from its hole, but uh, it's way too afraid of. Get closer to sand, uh, to, to giant 20-foot panther statue and uh, inspect it. In fact, yeah, the... the torches here on the ground seem that they were fought, uh, used to fight against these creatures, but uh, it seems that they were snuffed out. Yeah, you see me okay, reach well, over. I guess I'll, my... I'll check over here to make sure there's nothing about to jump out. Yeah, you see me reach over and uh, kind of like grab this torch right here. Slash. Like trying to stand it up. But, uh, yeah, uh, 
What? <laughs> like, I try, like, I try and stand it up and relight it with my torch. Uh-uh. You do. Try and get, just like, some carry two torches. torches in the battle, charge. No, just, just, just so we can have standing torches. Gotta go. That are lit. I don't like this. Yep, to keep the, uh, giant crickets at bay. I'll, I'll do the same, um, but I'll do it uh, here. Well, with the magical sense, by the way, you definitely see that the fire inside of the panther's mouth is magical. It's, uh, you have heard of it? It's some kind of an eternal light spell. You realize it's that Greek the fire. creatures <laughs> are obvious. not... Uh, the creatures are really not afraid of it, since it is, well, not hot. I do a uh, her, her, her uh, that word that I will never be able to say. Heraldry. 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 Check to see if this is Hello, man. significant of a family or coat of arms or some dwarven, perhaps. On what? On the panther? Yeah. Like, is it the? It's is there a, any family with a panther as their... Is there, like, a family with a panther, or perhaps a dwarven hold that has this as a... Like, perhaps there's a legend that says, Oh, yeah, and this when you enter this mighty dwarven hold, you are greeted by the giant 20-foot fire-breathing panther. Nope. Unfortunately, no. Oh, fortune that. You've been rolling nothing but like in the 30s. You've been rolling like in the 30s, 20s all day. Well, you know what? It's make up for the last time where I lulled below everything. Anyways, yeah. It seems that uh, the creatures will not attack long as you have light, so you are free to move on. Also, uh, he um, lit this uh, standing torch here. Oh, um, yeah. as you look over there, you see that that hallway has been collapsed a long time ago. Uh, I try and unclapse it. There we go. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. Okay. Wait. Ah, this hallway where I'm at or the one where John is? Uh, it, John. Was it was collapsed by squiggles. <sighs> I will go and make Anyways. it unclapsed. Uh, as you look inside... <clears throat> You see a dead man uh, having his hand inside of a hole of an altar that, has been, that is surrounded by four ancient pillars. So he just stuck his hand into the hole? That yes. man does not what seem to have What the fuck is too, wrong with uh, him? Too bright. I examine his hand. Is, was it cut off? No. You look inside of the hand. As he, he's, you see that he reached inside of it to pull a lever, but you see spikes that are piercing his hand. It seems that this man died of blood loss. Well, at least that is your estimate. It might be poison or something else. Right. Um, I, is the I lever on the shoulder and I simply said, my friend, you had very worthless friends. <laughs> Really, no one took you out of this. No one bandaged you up. I'm so sorry for your misfortune. Perhaps in the next life you'll do better. As you expect some kind of an answer from the corpse, but uh, surprisingly you don't get any. Is uh, the uh, right now, but perhaps later. Is the lever actually pulled? Oh yeah, you see that uh, this here had uh, like two doors, but uh, it seems that they have been opened. So you assume that the lever opened? Well. Huh. So this was last week's party that uh, Marcus ran for some other people as a one-shot. <laughs> that would be really great. <laughs> and this and they all died. Would happen. Yeah, they didn't, this guy didn't have very good friends. They didn't uh, bother to get him out. Nope. Also, I have to point out that I like that our uh, campaign starts from the desert and ends at a tavern. <laughs> Anyways, uh, if you're wondering what these are, they're like uh, fire pits. You can uh, That's what I was put asking. on. Yep. Yeah. I'm, uh, I'm gonna give one of them a light. Yeah, That's a does, human, uh, right? 
Yeah, he's a human. He has also dog tags. It seems he said that he was also a mercenary. Yeah, when Molite's has the other dog tag. More light to my knowledge right now is just gonna do his. So I'm gonna go and light the other one as well. Yep. But I you recognize the any symbols of this mercenary band. Um, no, not not really. If I roll for it, then would I recognize it? Maybe you you can you can try to recall your past. Maybe you have a yeah. No, no, he no, doesn't. no. You do do have heard that uh, the desert region is filled with a uh, quite many uh, mercenary troops, but uh, unfortunately, you haven't heard of this one. At least you cannot recall. Okay, there's like a hundred or so mercenary bands, I say, looking at the other person. Uh, you forgive me for not recognizing this particular one. Anyways, further down on the hole, you I see will a for today. gigantic hole made with a pickaxes. Wow, and someone's a, been digging through here. And small explosives, as you see another mercenary down the, on the ground there. As he has died of like small bite and scratch wounds. Well, clearly something's here. Hmm. I, uh, I look down the hole. Uh, down the hole, you see a rope has been uh, tied across a pillar that is here. That seems to be going downwards. <laughs> I, uh, take my rope, my rope, I mean my, my torch, and I kind of like try and see if I can get some lights down there. Alright, you drop down the doors as you see a room down there. How long does the fall look? Uh, not bad actually. It's like, uh, one floor. So it's yeah, not like a... too bad, but it's not gonna be fun if you fall. Examining the corpse, can I tell if it was in a sentry position? For instance, was she left up here to guard the hole? Well, it seems that uh, she fought some of the crickets, as you saw some corpses earlier. So you assume that she died of her wounds against the crickets. Well, uh, crawlers actually they're sand crawlers instead of crickets. So there was, like, drag marks of her blood around, falling out from the door, like she didn't get killed in here. Yeah, if this was definitely the one-shot. <laughs> the mightiest of all the one-shots. This is actually the campaign that I was running for so long. <laughs> right. Except no one died in that one. Oh, they all died. This is how it worked out. This that was West character back there. This this one right here was Warlocks. Did you flop his who... bike? When did I become an elven woman? The um... dumbass who stuck his hand into the altar that was an obvious trap was me. Yes. <laughs> obvious trap. Lisa needs corpses. Obvious That's trap. Say what you're Lisa what you're kidding. What your character actually did in my game <laughs> seems like he would do it, so. Actually, no. You know who Marcus's character is? It's this one back here, because he got turned into a pincushion in the game, and this guy got, also got turned into a pincushion. True. <laughs> Anyways, uh, you assume that uh, with a little bit of effort, you could get down there without getting hurt. Yes, do we have rope? Well, there is rope. rope there. Well, good. I climb down. It looks sturdy. Being the first, so that if I die, the others may know not to go down. That is Who's here, a loud scream? We create a rope from human skin. Well, you? Are, you, are you offering, Sinawar? No, I'm just looking at the pink color. I assume that we created rope from human skin. <laughs> Barbarians. Anyways, you come down into a quite a nice room. 
it has Except for the corpse of the bottom. <laughs> Minus the bones all over the place. Oh shit. Yeah, aside the Motherfucking point, mouse buttons. It seems quite a nice room aside from the bones. Light the torches real quick. <laughs> well, I remember I dropped my torch down there. I don't know, that's what, what do you think I'm using to light the torch? Yeah, that, that's one. <laughs> Excellent. I pick up the torch when I'm done. I, I, pick, I give him the torch. Are the I... bones from recently deceased people or animals that have been devoured? At this point, you can't tell without further inspection. I really inspect it. Do these so the... beds look comfortable? So the bones are are pretty large because you could probably tell chicken bones from human bones just by you know. Well, that is fair, but uh, it, it's been uh, some decades that uh, this whatever. Yeah, but you can also happened, tell like so... if it's a skull or some you know a human skull or. Yeah, I would say that it's kind of mixed. <laughs> <laughs> That's um, mm, mm, right. That's slightly disconcerting if we have. Uh, on, on what appears to be, you know, dinner plates, we have uh, human bones mixed with animal bones. Yeah. yeah so they were Someone making had a, a big dinner. So you're yes. saying they were making a kind of souffle? Hmm. That's one way of putting it, I guess. Uh, but yeah, the bits are quite uh, nice, except for the freaking dust that they are covered in. Wipe off the dust. Men, we ha- ladies and gentlemen, we have a campsite. You put out so much dust that all of you kind of cough. <laughs> <laughs> I don't cough, because I'm used to this. This is what I have to do every time I clean out my lord's tent. <laughs> Jesus, what are you doing there? I lost my feather duster, what do you want? Say, I am your feather duster. Anyways, and allow me you, to go first, my lord. You may give me a, a perception test. I want to get in the middle of the squares. I uh, pull down alt and just leave it where you want it. So. Yeah. I shall attempt a perception test. Too much Space stuff. Baby in the Jesus, look at that shit. Uh, so, what's a perception check? By the skin of your eyeballs. Anyways. <clears throat> I see everything. Inside of this cave, you hear the creak, um, you hear a lot of scrolling and skittering down this small cave. As many animals you oh. feel moving about in the darkness. Damn it, it's a scaven. It does do, right there. Does it uh, does it sound like the skitter yeah. that we've heard before, yeah. or uh, does it sound like it's some other sort of animal? Oh, yeah. it does. Uh, it does sound somewhat familiar to the uh, crawlers that you saw upside and uh, some bats. Right. Mm -hmm. As you see, the that, uh, where the Lord is. as you see that a uh, few of the few mercenaries that were here were fought to the death against something. Some man was brave enough to hold it while the rest of his companions went on. <sighs> the rope. I'll be right back. I need to get something to eat. Right. Mercenaries. You may give me another perception test if you choose it. Oh yeah, I'll gladly fail another perception test. I have a 14% chance to pass, so statistically I'll pass one day. But not today. In a hundred checks, you should pass fourteen times. Should. So yes, I will. Sure. Uh, I will be uh, 
collecting their tags as well. Alright. Anybody else willing to give that a... Well, well, he went to eat, so... Yeah. Did I roll a perception again? No, um... Well, who didn't roll? Oh. Let's say I'm the only one that hasn't... that rolled the first one. I mean, the yeah. second one. Oh, I see only blood for my lord. God, I worship. My religion is actually action. <laughs> yes, I'm John Action, son of Max Action. <laughs> it is actually my character's religion. Anyways, um, you have a several uh, directions to go towards. Since you failed what? your perception test, so uh, which what way do these you... people actually appear How to have died of? You? I've got a six. I got a sixteen. Oh, uh, like many bite wounds and uh, like scratches and such. Show failed our perception test. Fuck you. Oh my lord! I suggest we go back and go to that door that we left behind. Yeah, I was thinking about that. Oh me. Uh, Oh me, my lord. Don't want any danger to hit you. Let's see. What do we see up ahead? Alright, you open up the door, which... Oh, I don't open to... it up, I kick it open. Well, oh, it freaking breaks into almost a million pieces. I am Iron Man. As that old wood box rotted door just kind of just breaks. Yeah, I said, uh, should I, I should have shouted in the hall. Hey. hey, come check this out. Okay, but and I'm promptly ignored. I'm gonna start playing, start dealing cards for poker. Huh? <laughs> Uh, well, it seems uh, some kind of a card slash dice game, as you see. Some of the dice are, well, all of the dice have been made of uh, human bone. <laughs> right. We can't uh, identify um... human bones from animal bones, but we can notice that dice are made out of human bone. I I question our character's uh, ability to spot these sort of things, and I, I find it highly disturbing. Oh, Alright, fine. You have some mm. experience, so you might might be able to tell. Yes, <laughs> I have played with these before. They feel different. <laughs> dice, actually. I'm gonna I'm I'm check out this. Uh, you know the. the these three boxes right here. Alright, yeah, you check out of, of them, uh, but uh, whatever was inside of them is, well, far gone. Ah. In fact, almost everything is gone. Except for the table of dice. Yeah. Cards. There are cards here. Uh, like, uh, yeah, except for the cards and the smell of death, which just doesn't... Do we have poker chips? Um, sure. You wait your game. What? Is this really the time to be playing poker? Yes, I find it quite humorous that you find this the appropriate time when uh, there are so many corpses lying around, still relatively fresh. Yes, yeah, should we not enjoy ourselves before death? And I thought I was the fatalistic one. Yeah, how about we just not die? <laughs> well, I now know the reason anyway. why you never attended any of the uh, social gathering village. In front of you, really, you, you really like the door. I mean, I, I've, I've attended the gatherings. I was usually watching you to make sure you didn't do anything stupid. You open up that door, and uh, you see another door, and a uh, the hallway going probably the same way that you came from. Would you like to kick the door open this time, my lord? Sure. Ah, get off me! Right. Get off me! 
Dude, get up, open the door. I just like we're trying to go through the door at the same time, and then he just. <laughs> as you come it's across a, a quite an interesting looking story area, as you see a drawing of some <coughs> kind of a flying eye creature and some kind of a swing in the corner. Right. I don't think I have to roll magic sense to realize that something very, very creepy is going on. <laughs> What in Shalala is that? As you see many study notes and a, a test vials and liquid whatever it is on the tables. I try to step around the, the, the drawing on the ground, look at some of the books. Examine the drawing on the ground. Yeah, with advanced knowledge, can... magic help. <laughs> and understanding that? this drawing. You oh, can't roll um, ge genealogy what? slash heraldry for everything. In oh, I fact, might as well, because it's the same as all my other knowledge stuff. In fact, uh, you have heard of this creature before. It is an old god. Really old. From the ancient times. You cannot quite recall its name, but uh, you definitely have heard legends of it, how it used to... Yeah, I don't, I don't even know anything about it. I'm like, eh? I'm picking my nose. <laughs> and not a lady, the like thing to do. Oh yeah, because I'm such a lady, if you can't tell. But yeah. There's a chest. You definitely have heard of something. What'd you say? Stairs at your chest. <laughs> A break what open. What the hell are you chest. looking at? <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, you try. Uh, my um, eyes are up here. <laughs> you try some of your magic knowledge, but unfortunately, you're just creeped out of this by this stuff. So you're just kind of like, uh, yeah, can I just? Please, my magical sense succeed. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, there's nothing really what? magical down here. What do I gather from the notes? Uh, you look at the notes, and it's in some kind of a language that uh, you don't understand. Fuck. What language is it? <laughs> oh, wait a minute. It's been a day. Fucking... Go! Oh! Um, you recognize some of the symbols as, well, pretty much devil speech. Oh. <laughs> okay. Like talking to the corn and stuff like that. Oh, yeah. You recognize so, some yeah, I cannot read that. <laughs> so here, so here's what I'm gathering here is that the book I'm reading, it's not in Wrightsville or Arabic. It's not in uh, classical or like arcane. Uh, this is in uh, this. This would be dark lore. It's warrior speak. Perhaps I can read it. If it's it, if it's by if it's literally chaos, oh, chaos, guys. <laughs> by chaos, you, should, you would realize that just looking at the symbols, even though you don't. You don't realize what they mean. They are just hateful. They cause headaches. Yeah, you start to feel uh, nauseated. I was, I was, a, yeah, so I was just about to say, say that uh, Chris K is one corruption and uh, one insanity. Congratulations. Well, there is a there is a benefit to this. I now get dark for free, so fuck you. <laughs> uh, try action, my lord. No, stop going insane. Oh, if you're yep. interested, that's like a uh, bedroom. I look to the uh, the other two more literate people of the group. And I'm like, don't read this. Why? What's going on? <laughs> Why should we read it? It fills your mind with bile. Yeah, you're just getting headaches and like this. Uh, I, I thought your mind was already filled with bile. <laughs> More so than normal, and you see me throw the book across the room. No, it's just his head filled with me. Let me wait, what? Um, <laughs> if you are interested, the magic sense does tell you that the book is uh, technically magical, 
So you could use it for Grimroar. 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 Yeah, thank you. Mm. For some reason, like I could just say that word. <laughs> but, uh, well, my character not quite trusting. Uh, um, try to pick you, it up. You quite clearly know uh, if you use it, it's corrupt as hell, and uh, it's pretty much dealing with mechanics. Okay. So you can hmm. use it, but uh, do I want to willingly corrupt myself? <laughs> nah. I don't willingly corrupt myself. Do these do these quarters appear to be in any way related to the mercenaries? As in, were they recently used, perhaps, by them? Oh no, these haven't been used in years upon years. It seems that uh, this cavern, whatever it was, was long forgotten. Perhaps by an old cult or something similar. Yeah, Why sure. do you intend to make your lord stay oh. next to a cult shrine? Yeah. <laughs> I'll clean that up. <laughs> Search for heretical objects. Yeah, yeah even being a... here, you have an uncomfortable be feeling, and you really don't want to stay here lo longer. We just you feel the corruption to. coming into our bodies. <laughs> yeah, yes. I gotta look, I gotta look for corruption because it's not a it's not a thing in this book. I suggest we leave this place. It feels evil. Yeah, I agree with her. Some new paint. <laughs> Maybe a, a bookshelf. It'd be nice. <laughs> Again, we are supposed to be on a journey, not making. Yeah, we're not um, exactly house buying. This is like in real life. So, do you want to buy this haunted house that will take your soul? Oh yeah. I hey, just get some new, thing. just get uh, some paint, some new drapes. It'll be perfect. <laughs> we'll be back. <laughs> uh, well, considering how much chaos shit is going on around here, I have to have. Um. <laughs> Perhaps this really is the end times. <laughs> Which means oh. going north will suck for us because fucking chaos. Yeah, um, it's up to you which uh, way you want to go now. You have a Can we just not go north? That's what I want. <laughs> Because, you know, there's a difference between fighting Chaos Warriors and Chaos. <laughs> we still need to find uh, the merchant. <clears throat> Until I find his body, or him, I cannot leave here. As for this room and what's slept in it, before we leave, we need to either seal this place or burn the books. Burn it! Burn it to the ground! Uh, well, maybe, burn maybe, books. <laughs> maybe when you're not inside of the cave, you might want to <laughs> try to do that, but uh, while you're inside of it, you probably don't want to do that. Okay, here's what we do. We get a shit ton of explosives and blow this place once we're out of here. Well, again, that's why I said we need to either seal the cave or we need to burn the books, one of the two. I'm assuming by why the GM said that is that if I burn the books, that means that something really bad will happen. 
Well, it's well, more like that uh, you're inside of a cave and uh, there's gonna be Yeah, where's the smoke gonna go? Yeah. <laughs> It's so a small you might... <laughs> fire. It's a small fire, like right here. Yeah. I guess what we could do is close the doors. We'll, we'll kind of slow it. <laughs> no, it's, it's just the nature of that. Is that a small fire in one room, in a big oh, yeah. fucking cavern? How yeah, fucking yeah. fast is the smoke gonna fucking come into this room? Where we're gonna start a fucking? Well, here's the thing. Is that it will catch like... fire here, 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 here. Um, by that here. Knowledge, by that knowledge, there's already a fire because there's some fucking candles right there. And we have torches. Yeah, you do have court torches that are still uh, giving you nice light, which is <sighs> nice. Well, regardless, let's just keep moving. We gotta go find some here. I already think of looking at this place to begin with. <laughs> you cross that bridge as uh, you look across the other bridge and you realize that uh, on that bridge there's like small little tin cans attached to a string to make noise if you were to walk across it, waking up many creatures down oh, this cavern. Oh shit. <laughs> oh my god, we decided to pass this one. <laughs> uh. Oh, glad we decided to check out that other door. Kinda, not really. I mean, someone got a I corruption know. point out of it. My fucking head is killing me. <laughs> <laughs> Your hand's been corrupted. Oh wait, no, it's already been corrupted a long time ago. Anyways, you see a uh, small little storage space with a uh, many barrels and a. Uh, I'm gonna tell you this right now, Slanesh got to me long this. <laughs> yep. You, you take a quick glance inside of the barrels and uh, uh, they're mostly empty, there's some rotting food in there, but uh, the most best thing that you can find here... Oh no, I'm gonna save the, you yourself. ...are the finely crafted uh, fur. Wait, what? Yeah, fur. here. Finally crafted fur. Yeah, finally crafted fur. You take a look at them and uh, they're quite nice looking. Hey, maybe we should take this and sell it. Or maybe it'll be useful if we want to go north. You know, where it's colder. What animal's fur are they and also magic sense to check if they're corrupted? <laughs> <laughs> Roll Perseans. Uh, Roll science. Roll science. Yeah. Um, well, I, uh, <clears throat> well, thankfully I succeeded. <laughs> I gotta add that knowledge skill now that I have. Uh, you recognize few of the few uh, furs that are here. You see, like a bear, uh, some wolves, and even a panther fur. It seems a. Uh, this kid was quite fond of panthers. Uh, are they fun. covered in a thin layer of corruption that we can wash off with some bleach? Yeah. Oh, um, no, you don't feel any corruption from them. You just assume that they're really nicely crafted uh, fear. Uh, if yeah, you were to give them a uh, value, you would guess uh, you would gain about 200 gold from these. We should definitely sell these guys. As as crazy as it sounds, well, well, actually, it's not that crazy considering the desert is also pretty cold during the night. So actually, uh, you know, taking these furs might be a good idea. We have blankets. We can get cheaper ones that are still yeah, better. Yeah, yeah. You, you do. Uh, do you think that uh, you're not going to be able to sell them for a little while, especially since you're in the desert? But uh, hey. I mean, who doesn't want to sleep on a pile of luxurious furs? Oh yeah, when you touch it, it's like smooth and really feels silky. good on your hands. Yeah, it feels really silky smooth. <laughs> mm -hmm. Now we just need a fireplace. 
Oh, uh, and uh, I am going to say that that is a door there, if, if you're wondering, and not just a freaking wall. Okay, I thought that was a wall and he just like phase shipped through. <laughs> well, back that ass up. Um, I'm just gonna Make this, but, uh, you know. since there's nothing special except the rusted out swords and spears in there that uh, are completely useless and uh, can't really use them. Yeah, I mean, I'm going to want a uh, uh, rusted out sword. We saw that, we saw, we saw that uh, combat order turn check. The question is, are there shields in there? Yes! Oh yeah, that... <laughs> if you the, wanted to the say child that they told, sword. The child told us they have shields. There are shields, where? Oh yeah, they're, they're, they're shields, if you could call them, then just hunks of metal and rust at this point, so they wouldn't be too much use, but uh, hey. I can get a couple of pennies for the metal. Anyways, uh, that door is open, as you see, a couple of sarcophagi in there, and uh... <laughs> A few skeletons. Oh, well, I guess I'll look for the coat of arms. <laughs> and actually know what they are. I swear, you and your fucking academic knowledge genealogy. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He's using it to solve everything. That makes no sense. It's a useful skill. <laughs> No, it's Unfortunately, not. Unfortunately, this, uh, what are you trying to find out? She's like, heraldry. there's a coat of arms right there, I see it. <laughs> Unfortunately, this is really old knowledge, so you can't... Yeah. recognize an old god, but not one of these. Mm, yeah, no. Hey, I, I got a dark lore out of it, so it was something, <laughs> or at least. <laughs> Since the, yeah, the god is at least uh, common knowledge, the, this is kind of an obscure. <sighs> Isn't everything obscure nowadays? <laughs> Anyways, you see two doors. One, uh, one a little bit more reinforced door, and one double door over here. Do I... Here. Is the reinforced door trying to oh, keep that, the Oh, that's just a uh, torch that, uh, okay. that is... Unlit. Anyways, uh, you're opening this door? Oh no, I want it before I open it. Is it something to keep something in or out? Um, probably in. In fact, oh, um, shit. with that academic knowledge, I'm gonna say that uh, you can recognize this as like an old cell door. This, uh, uh, uh oh. Yeah. In yeah. Well, you do assume <laughs> assume that uh, whatever child that uh, who was child here in the past are long dead. Is there like a little jailer mini door that you can open dead, in? Long dead, but the dead occasionally stir from rest, as we've uh, learned yeah, from then. stories. I mean, like the, whole a, plot, uh, the whole plot of this, we're flat out told, Nagesh is stirred from his from his rest. Um, yeah, you see that it's locked, but uh, you realize that this door has been standing for many, many, many years, so you could probably just open it. And uh, the no, like, would there, give up. Is there like a hole that I could peek through? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, or even if there uh, wasn't, you could probably make one very quickly. Yeah, uh, you see that. We see a do we see another door on the ground. <laughs> well, that's out. Do we go? It's a bench. Where do we go? <laughs> Where do we go? Transylvania. <clears throat> Blued. All right, nothing of interest. In is that actually loot? Um. Is it blood? Not loot. Uh, As opposed to see. the luxurious furs that we already acquired. Nah, no, that's like rags. A pile of rags. Let's go. Alright, you're opening the door. 
<laughs> no, I think he's oh. like we actually just go elsewhere. There may be a note in there of some importance, but my character has no reason to go in there. Mm. We can check it in a minute. Yeah, it is really up to you. Anyways, uh, you look at the big double doors. You try the handle and it doesn't really open. It seems that uh, this door is still standing. I have to force it open. Smack at the door, but uh, whatever is holding it together is quite strong. Lord, would you like to help me with this? Yeah. Together on three. Hinges <laughs> <laughs> pulls it off the hinges. Oh yeah, you finally break it off as you saw a. Uh, some chains were on the other side to keep it shut. Well, John, you sure are strong. Hey, I help. Yeah, you, you, you loosened the jar. I had the other. He had <laughs> one side door, I had the other. It was a double hey, door. Yeah, you loosened the pickle jar. That's what you did. You see John Don't action. Like Pull out his, uh... <laughs> nice, pristine weapons. His rapier and his, uh... Is gosh. My weapons are always ready. You know, just in case. Coming, Cedar Um, yeah. She hey, bitch. Will, uh, follow. She did say that uh, she would be back, right? Anyway, that is another door. That's a dead end. I kick it door. open. Off the I see faint red off. light. And I might as well reveal that since you avoided the encounter. A little barracks. Yeah, uh, you see a, a lot more fancier and uh, sturdier tour here. I'll walk over here. I am. Um, that, that, that is just a Give sleeping, it an open. sleeping quarters, yeah. really. Yeah, I was gonna look around this room. Knock. <laughs> you knock at the door and it does not open. Oh, you've gotta be fucking me. <laughs> oh! <laughs> you look at the door and it's quite a fancy door. In fact, the keyhole that is there is uh, silver, and you assume that uh, you would need some kind of a special key to open it. I search around the place, <laughs> see if I can't find anything interesting. Well, unfortunately it's the same site as always. The food has been, uh, well, long rotten. The rats are still running about. And uh, whatever clothes you find are just completely torn. Alright, well I search around in my room, but obviously I was just slightly off. We're about to discover something important, and then you saw a magazine. <laughs> and Holland is the one who knocks. And I look at the magazine Knock. and I'm like... No, the no. Fuck is, like the fuck is People magazine? I open it up and I become engrossed in the gossip and bullshit. What are the? I don't know who these Kardashians are, but I'm on their side. And then you realize that you've been wasting your time this. Time. I'm standing there for like hours, just like girl, you do your thing. <laughs> anyway, I will try and force open the door. But then I pause for a moment and I'm like, what the fuck am I doing? Yeah, what have I done with my life? And I come out. I feel like I, I, feel like I aged 20 years in there. Thanks. 
Unfortunately, Unfortunately. Oh, man, there we go. With some more effort, you managed to break on. Force the door open. As you see a... Broken, more fancier, expensive door. As the cave seems to be heading forwards. Which, uh, does remind you that you haven't seen Samir and, uh, there's no way that you realize that, uh, he couldn't have put it past this door, but, uh... Hey. Wait, that door took a lot of effort, correct? Oh, yeah. I had to kick it twice. Okay. So... You think he might be in that room that looks like a cell? Worth a shot. Worth of checking out, at least. Yeah, let's go have or... a look see that. Oh, no, no, I would I like have... to point out that there does seem to be a room here. Uh, well, if you're really interested, I... Oh. Hello there, Fountain. Hello. I was wondering, what the fuck is that? Is that a pillar? Is it... Because I see, like, a little thing here at the Like, room... Okay, well, here, I have a perfect solution. I laid yeah, the yeah, yeah, back yeah. here. Yeah, it seems to be an old, like, uh, water source. And then all of the bad justice headbutts the door. <laughs> knock, knock. As Hello? You, as you hear, like, a... a Who's knock, there? <laughs> on the other side of the door. Get off my lawn! We can look through the door, uh, like the, the door hole, the keyhole, like last time. Alright, you yeah, look at the it. bench and the pile of rags. I am the law! Why don't we, uh. Why don't you get the door? Why don't you, well, 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 why don't you give, your, you give it a little peek? I, I am. Waiting for the butter knife to come stab me in my eye. <laughs> You just see someone walk up to the door and go, eh! <laughs> you see I watch, I watch him gently as he stabs me in the eye. <laughs> you look back up and you just got blood pouring out of your eye. With the knife I in think, it still. I think I've been jabbed. I don't know, my toughness ignored all of it, but I feel like I got poked in the eye. <laughs> it would do. You just see you stand back up, and you have like a knife in your eye, bleeding. Like it's like, oh my god, there's a knife in your eye. Oh, there is. You just take it out. Huh? That's weird. You open the door. No, I'm looking in because I heard something move when I said hello. Um. Yeah. Uh. When you knocked, you hear the knock back. And you s hear like a muffled sound, but uh, you can't really make mm -hmm. any of the words out. It seems that uh, I pass this, a cracker onto the door. This door seems quite thick. All right, you see a little bit more of the room. As you see the two chairs. I pass cells. a cracker under the door. <laughs> you pass a white person under the door? Oh God, I'm just pissing <laughs> open. I'm tired of this. <laughs> Bang. Yeah, well, we're wasting time on one fucking door, it's, uh, it's always nice. Yeah, I've re reminded me that. I, I, I talked about this when <laughs> I was running my game. Just be dear open fucking the door. <laughs> Anyways, you see the quite a familiar figure that uh, you recognize him from uh, the visits that he has done to your humble little tribe. And as he looks upon you, oh, uh, finally, somebody came after me. Thank God. Is this the guy we're looking for out of character? Yeah. Okay. Usrata. Usrata. You see that the um, jail cell that he is is locked as he has filled the gaps with many, uh, many rags and uh, many whatever he have could have found to plug the way in. Let's stop my boot. Dang. All right, Hello. yeah. Das boot. It's good boot. What happened As... here, Samir? Uh, it's you guys. I wasn't expecting you. I was ex expecting at least the city guard to find me. Oh. Yeah, the city guard yeah, weren't too no, interested no, in coming to look for you. Right. Well, we, we could just leave. 
the new city guard captain said it was his responsibility to find you, and then he said, I'm not gonna find him ever, because I fucking hate you. Well, I I've actually got... Thank you for coming for me. I locked myself in here because those crickets were chasing me and my mercenaries, hunting us down. Unfortunately, we I think I lost every single one of them. Uh, looks like it's... Generally, you don't have to pay them. <laughs> yeah, now you're talking like a total war general. <laughs> True. <laughs> I would you know, never do that. Fact, oh, but I've seen you do it several times. <laughs> it's Every nice game to of see Crusader Knights too. It's nice to see you. I managed to get a you message a long them. time ago from your tribe to assist you whenever you came to work to me. But I wasn't quite expecting this situation, but uh it's nice to see you, nonetheless. Yes, your uh, secretary told us where you were at. Uh, I must give her a raise. Yeah, you probably should. I certainly hope so, man. She just bailed your ass out. Oh, yeah, I would have run out of food some soon. Oh, we've got I plenty. Of stuff, By the way, why are you locked in here? I said, those crickets came after us, and I, I locked myself in here so they couldn't get me. Well, lucky break you. Damn, only if I could get my eye on the... hand on the <laughs> eye of the panther. I, Is it really that valuable? Like that <laughs> oh, I'd have to ask, did you... did you bring some sort of scholar with you? No. Only some low-life mercenaries. Well, there's a room. It's full of uh, lots of old books, and there's some uh, like scripture on the ground. Oh, yes. AKA saw... drawings of some sort of old god? I don't know. I must take a look at that. Room later on. Like, man, you don't. Ah, really? Oh, well, I'll trust your. Yeah, I already, uh, I already made that mistake, and I'm gonna tell you this right now. What's in that book? You. It's not for our eyes to see anymore. <laughs> Wait, you have to see everything, don't you? Man, still, I wish I could get my hands on that eye. I want it, but well, let's go get it. I want to survive. Yeah, let's go get it now. We're here anyway. This this eye. Do you know where it's at? Oh yeah, there is a old fancy door here, according to my I think research. You found it already. With a and I think silver, someone opened yeah. it. We went with through. There's one rock. more. Yes, there's. Do you have the key? Oh yes, I have this key that I found oh. a long time ago, but this cave is quite dangerous. I wouldn't be, I wouldn't recommend going after the eye. I have, I have learned my lesson today, but uh, if you want it, I guess I won't stop you. I'll look to the group. Is this eye really all that? Is. is this eye as valuable as it's been made out to be? <laughs> I mean, you yeah, but life and limb for it. I mean, it sounds valuable. Don't get me wrong, but fair. We only came here for him, and well, we kind of don't really, maybe not have the manpower to do it. Well, it can't be a true. I slap my sword it's... against my shield. Most of the cultists are dead or gone from here, so I doubt that there's anybody guarding it. GM is trying to tell us to go get the gem. But uh, I just want to leave here. Actually, from what I can tell, the GM is trying to tell us to actually leave, and that perhaps getting it would be a bad decision, but it's our choice. My character will certainly recommend that we go get the gem. We're here anyway, might as well. It's the eye of the panther. 
Yes. Copyright. Yes, anyways. Um, no, back off the streets. Back hey, I already broke open the door. He's like, well, we certainly started the process of kicking the door wide off the hinges. And... We can certainly we can certainly leave if you really want to leave. However, why don't we just why don't we just leave him some food and water, maybe a thing of beer, close the door, lock it up, and then be back in a little bit. Well, this seems this place seems to be safe, so if you truly want to go after the I uh I guess I'll stay here. And some food. I don't even want to approach that thing. Okay. Yeah, pretty sure the GM is definitely telling us to leave. <laughs> the eye to the eye to the eye. Well, here's the thing. Um, I know what the GM is trying to imply, or at least what you believe the GM is trying to imply. Thing. I don't well, care what the GM's trying I, to say. I, my character but, says another. But I gotta, yeah, I was, <laughs> the thing is, I gotta play to my character, the GM. Uh, um, yep. You head inside as you see the uh, cave widening in bigger and bigger as you hear more ski skittering around as you come across a larger section of the cave. Those flames high, boys. Uh, hello, not a boy. Oh, you said you weren't a lady. This doesn't mean I'm not a girl, Jesus. They're uh, not you, the same thing. You, you may move your uh, guys over to that little uh, platform or here, if you want. Okay. Where? Anyways, you find yourself inside of the big cave. As you see on the walls, you see many creatures skittering around. You can see them plainly. They don't seem to attack you, but they seem to outnumber you by quite many. Flames high. The Keep sound of their skittering in the sky. And uh, walking seems loud. You seem to have uh, stumbled across their nest. In the middle of the hallway, you see like an old like pillar made of stone that seems to be have uh, bridges leading to different sections of the cave. The middle of the uh, pillar has been hollowed out into almost into some kind of an launching area of some sort, or perhaps a research section. Imagine if, like the area below that bridge has like nothing like but scorpions or shit in it. <laughs> Oh yeah, you you just hear a lot of creatures, like a ton. If you Absolutely. were to fight you them, to you imagine, imagine yourself just getting slaughtered in an instant. Body just armor. by the sheer force of them. I think Anyways, I can take them. You see the two rigid bridges going... Uh, one the other way and one the other. Check for bells under the bridge. Seeking a war is extremely far behind. Any more bells under the bridges? Do we see any bells? Yeah. No, no. no. You okay. can't quite see on the, the other side of the bridges, since the, it's kind of sloping up, as you see in that picture, above. Huh. Okay. You're in like this level and uh, they're kind of going upwards, so... 
you can't quite see up there, so you would have to actually walk. What do we across. see in like the area that we're at, like this like little pillar? Oh, that's like a small little uh, region uh, place. You see like scraps of uh, paper, but I think has been long faded out. Okay. I find that I can read it. Well, read what? Part, it's nothing but smut, so... Yeah, that's why I can read it. Smut. No, what? What is it? <laughs> what language is it? On a language, it's, it's messed up ink, so it's nothing legible. That's why my character can read it. Oh. <laughs> you get plus 50 bonus to read. Yes. Fail. Anyways, um, which bridge shall you pick? The Lord. bottom one or the bottom one, or shall you leave? Any, many, many, mo. Catch attacker by the top. <laughs> hey. Um, look to either what we see at each end. Well, like I said, you can't really see to the other side. Okay, so. Ah. Uh. Just a dramatic effect, let's add a few of these creatures who are kind of skittering around. Yeah. Should they swarm, I shall hold them back while you will to get us the game. Uh, hopefully it doesn't come we'll Remember your sacrifice. <laughs> I prefer you do. Your first child be named after me. Um, I don't know about that, but we'll, we'll, we'll make a monument, a statue. I'm okay with that. At least knight me in my death. Anyways, all all great uh, leader of the party choose wisely. Let's see, so we can't see what's on either side. Nope, we have to guess. Alright. I see a card for some fucking reason. Oh uh, dear. Yeah. We're about to get fucked. <clears throat> Let's see. So we can't see either side, so it's a blind guess. Hey guys, we should split the party! And then the song plays. <laughs> uh, I was actually about to suggest that in chat, well, not in chat, but like in, you know, character, just like, so, split up or just Don't you go, you never split the party. <laughs> Advance scout. Eric the back keeps the fighters hitting hard. I could serve on the damn of light. And you never let that damn thief out you know of sight. Let's go, let's go across this bridge. Let's wait until we have the talisman before we start applying the music, yes? I don't know what that means, but I could serve as an advanced scout. Right. I pick this bridge. Right. You okay, go first uh, bridge. Uh, don't move your... Don't do anything. Let me give a nice little look. <clears throat> you see, as you cross the bridge, you see a shining purple light. As you see a beautiful bed bedestal, two braziers almost welcoming you with purple light just lighting up this section of the cave. In, wow. The, wow. in the far wow. end, you see an altar with a beautiful crystal like gem on the altar as it's shining. In a purple light. Yeah, who wants to go see what the other side had to offer? Well, that certainly looks like our uh, Eye of the Panther. Lord, I think we should see what the other side has to offer, just to be sure. Are you certain? Mm, maybe look, see, but... What are these? I see, like... Uh, they're bracers with a... Uh... With light, purple light. Okay, so the braces with purple light. Um, how many torches do we have left? Uh, 
Um, Because yeah. I'm gonna... I would suggest that we set what, uh, some of them we have left, uh, down, just in case that, uh, if we pick this gym up, uh, something doesn't... You know what? I'm gonna look up. I'm gonna look directly up. Alright. You see a shit ton of more creatures up there ready to just jump, but, uh, they don't seem to be too interested at the moment. Sweet. So what's gonna happen is... Jamma, jamma. You're going Welcome. to pick up a gem. Who's Look the fastest up there. Uh, I'm gonna just, uh, send some magic. I'm gonna try to send some magic here, man. Well, I mean, you're certainly gonna sense it off of me, yeah. <laughs> right. Well, I can... Oh. Oh, uh, this place is incredibly magical. You sense that these creatures are attracted to this light. Wait, Almost... attracted? Uh... Yeah, I would use that say. say. Shit. It's the previous ones were scared of it. You sense that there is some kind of an ancient spell casted here to protect the item. I don't think we should perhaps pick that up. I will just dispel it. Not unless um, we can dispel it, but I don't think any of us are... I don't think any of us would know how to. Unless there's uh, some sort of ritual we can perform. I don't know, let's let the uh, magical women decide. Well, I don't know. I've never had to dispel a spell. <laughs> you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna try and remember some stuff from that hateful ass fucking book I read. <laughs> well, um, I will say this: uh, since you didn't rush the altar like dumbasses, <gasps> you Might actually have the that time to take a look at the altar. And you see a plague, a uh, black, a plague, no, not, not a plague, that would be fucking hard. <laughs> oh god, see a plague. plague. Yeah, we see, uh, yeah, we, we look over and we see the black death just sitting there waiting for it. Oh, well, yeah, you know you... those, uh, demon plagues from Rifts? <laughs> but yeah, That's... you see underneath the altar, you see a stone, like, carving. As you see some, uh, almost like writing on it. Uh, what we language out the is writing it? from a distance? Uh, no, not really. I don't know how to read. What does the language look like? It seems, uh, the most common language which would be Rexpiel, which is kind of odd. But, uh, hey. In the, in the middle of the desert, where they don't speak Rex. It's in Reichsville. Ain't that some shit. So would I know if there would be a problem with me even just getting close to it? Oh, you can close to it, but you assume that if you were to pick it up without any... any thought... Okay, I'm gonna get close to it so I can read the... the plaque. <laughs> Alright. You read it. And, um, it says, Thy stories be told in order by dawn tonight, but thy fate be sealed if started from north, or Thais will suffer the wrath of the panther. Uh, thy stories be told in order by dawn tonight, but thy fate be sealed if started from north. Or they will suffer the wrath of the panther. Hmm. Are there are books. Well, let's see here. Um, when did we come into this cavern? About uh, midday-ish, but uh, okay. Can you get it written out for me? 
Thy stories be told in order by dawn oh, to never night, mind. but thy fate be sealed if started from north, or thy will suffer the wrath of the past. Wills. I want to check up what's north, just like peek my head over to see what's there. I imagine what looks over there is a trap. Well, you see another, like, uh, this, like, uh, platform over here, but you can't see what's up there. All right, Wait, go it's... across the bridge, and uh, you see oh. three, three pedestals with uh, books on them, with each of a title. One of them is 46 recipes to make the perfect lunch. One of them <laughs> is called Pitch Black, and one of them is Rise of Humanity. It's hard Wonder to see what they say. Fucking, it's, it's, it was really hard to read that with that fucking skeleton head. Yeah, that, that, can't that, read, that. so he can't tell what the hell either of the books are. Oh yeah, you, you just see these books John. and I'm like, all right. As Wait a see, second. The story is be told by an order by dawn to night, but thy fate be sealed if started from north, or thy will suffer the wrath of the panther. Hey guys, I found this and some books. You found some books? <clears throat> and this corpse. Alright. Well, whatever order the books are in probably is not the correct one. Because corpse. Yes. Anyway. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go check these books that you mentioned. And if we get the wrong order, we'll suffer the fate of the panther. Or the wrath of the panther. Get out, get out of it. As you look at the corpse. It, the corpse is still uh, holding on to the, like, this pedestal, as you assume that he put this book on this pedestal and died to unknown reasons. Okay, so oh, quest okay. Questions, questions of the books, questions of the books. The, the, okay, so the one that's on north is Rise of Humanity? Yeah, Rise of Humanity. Which it one is the uh, the recipe book? This one is the lunch book, and this is Pitch Black. Okay, okay, okay so... Rise of Annie is clearly the other start, but we should not start there, because that is North. Okay, so I'd like to note of this, is that... Here's what we got going on here. If this is the recipe book... It's, it's 100 the middle. recipes for what? It's 46 recipes to make the perfect lunch. The perfect lunch. Lunch this, is this in is... the middle, and yeah, pitch that's black in the middle. should go there if we are not supposed to begin from the north. Yeah. Stand over here, you know, guarding the bridge. Yeah. So it looks as though we can't start from the north. That would mean that the rise of humanity needs to go down here, and the book up here needs to go up here. Mm-hmm. This right... No, no, no. Wait, hold on, hold on. Stop, 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 stop. That's, uh... Wait, because the bottom book is the uh, recipe book. Yeah, that's 46 okay. recipes to make the perfect lunch. Okay, one. okay. So, we take the books. The recipe book goes here. The knight's right. book goes up here. And the Rise of Humanity book goes down here. Alright. Shall you sit along this? Wait. Uh huh Stupid. Oh my, oh, okay. Gee, that got me so worried. <laughs> shall you move your books like this, or shall you leave them as they were? Uh, the books are fine, right? Alright, so you move the rest of humanity over here, you move the lunch over here, and pitch, pitch plaque over here. Yeah. As you immediately, even with the... Uh, Without drawing magical sense, you feel the creatures almost like visibly calm down. I guess we can go take the stone now. Do I? When we get back, do I get the sense that we can actually take the stone? Don't don't no? don't take the stone yet. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna hold you off until we. Until let's, I know for let's, sure. let's let's get close and let's look up, look up. Oh Take yeah, the the creatures are highly calm and just 
not even starting to look. They're I, not even looking at you anymore. I hover my hand over it and look up. My lord, my lord, oh, wait. Oh no, no, they're, they're just not a caring anymore. I really. calmly grasp it and I look up. All right, they're not reacting. I pick it up off the altar and I look up. Yeah, they're still not reacting. It seems whatever you did. I did take something. two steps back and <laughs> just just be sure. Just be sure, dude. <laughs> um, okay, when I, when we get back, do I sense that the magic is still there or that it's still the same? It's highly weakened. As you walk away with the from the pedestal with the gem in hand, do you see the light dim down? But, uh, like, almost completely shut off. But even then, the creatures are not aggressive. Let's go. Let's, let's go. Oh, yeah. You just walk away and they don't seem to react. So I guess we're going to be taking the Eye of the Panther. Yeah. Congratulations. You have solved the You're easiest so puzzle glad. in the fucking world. Yes! <laughs> I, 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 got, I got the Eye of the Panther in my hand. We've and I, I take and some solace and noting and I take some solace in noting that you said it was a bad idea and look what I'm holding in my motherfucking hand. Dude, Dude, um, I'm can... just gonna reveal this right now. If you guys would have been greedy and just trusted the gem, you all would have probably died. Oh, thankfully, thankfully, we're not, thankfully we're not greedy. I was just like Yeah, you know, I don't I'd prefer it if we didn't let that, uh, you know, let all the- The problem would be if we were, day. if we had to deal with a sloozy problem. <laughs> Actually, the fun note, even funnier note is if you want, you can totally pick up those books now if you want. <laughs> oh, yeah, can I take out the books then? <laughs> if we can take them? <laughs> oh yeah, if you want. I want to take oh. the books, I actually want to read them. So, does you the lunch read? actually have the best lunch? It, it, oh, teaches, yeah. it, it teaches you cooking math at Master Level. Yeah, dude, um, just to, like, if you went and started to read them, Pitch Black is obviously about the night and vampires. Like, when they okay, were... Okay, okay, uh, so that would, so that would give you Dark Lord Necromancy. Oh, yeah, it's, it's definitely Dark Lord Necromancy. It's you about vampires this. and night and werewolves and all kinds of like that. Rise of Humanity is a book telling the co accomplishments of birth of uh, humanity with Sigmar and telling his story. So would that so be... That would, that would give you divine lore. And uh, the perfect recipes are... Uh, funnily enough, they're forward recipes. That uh, it says that the best time to enjoy a lunch is around midday. So if you could like if you wanted to read them if you couldn't solve the puzzle that he would have given you a hint. Yeah. But uh if you, anybody if you, didn't, if you didn't get it from just the 101 recipes for lunch. Yeah. No, no. It's only 47. <laughs> okay, so let's return to 46. So I so do I have recipes that I can then use? <laughs> oh yeah. Sweet. Yeah, so you, yeah, you, um, if you read the books and you took time to study them, I guarantee you, you would learn dark necromancy, uh, divine lore, and, uh, glorious, glorious, glorious cooking. Because I would, I, no, I'm definitely taking the time to read them. I already, uh, I actually want to read these books. Anyways, so so I have dark to... lore, necromancy, and the... <laughs> Anyways, you're back to Simar, and, uh, he's okay, and, uh, it's like, all right, you survived. So, look what we've got. <sighs> Thank you. Well, I don't suppose you would, uh, it will be uh, giving that to me. Let's just get back to town first. <sighs> all right, so, yeah. What's I also got all these, these cool books. <laughs> she says that she, like, has them stacked up and she's, like, reading through one on the top. <laughs> But before we leave, you wanted to check something out. Uh, 
Or not. Uh, I can uh, do that later. Yes. Yeah, you could certainly come back, but uh, we're gonna need to cover up this entrance. Uh, well, I still have some black powder uh, on the top of this time. That's just we use it. <laughs> uh, yeah, I really don't want to come back here, so if you want to so seal it... I do want to seal it. Oh, I'd rather I, I, I'd, I'd rather no one stupid get a hold of those books in there. What are you talking about? I have the books. No, the other books. Oh, that, that book. book. Yeah, right. I'd really rather not let someone stupid and impressionable get a hold of one of those books. Anyways, uh, yeah, you go back upside as you see. The sun is kind of setting as it's getting night time. As you were quite a long time down in the cavern. At least I got a long time. <laughs> so Never. you set up the black powder uh, kegs and uh, blow up the entrance, right? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Right, I look over at gonna... the uh, look over at the sunsets and I'm just like, I never thought I'd be sun setting. All right. Uh, well, um, yeah. You blow up the entrance way without any checks or anything in checks where to place them and not killing yourself. You just do it. Because we, we have because we have Samir. We have Samir. He's he's got this. He Anyways, got this, bro. Um, after that, you travel back to Bel Alid for a week as uh, you go back to his uh, house as uh, his sec secretary is uh, very glad to see him. And uh, hugs him and uh, hugs you guys. And uh, just goes, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, no thanks are necessary. <laughs> Alright. I would like to say that during the entire time I was intensely reading those oh, books. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Here, well, I was sent a letter to help you, so here we go. Here's the map of. The Swamp of Terror and the Mad Marshes of Madness. With this, you shouldn't get lost in them. Woo! But uh, just in case, I know a man who can, uh, can help you. Oh, that sounds great. I know a guy, okay? <laughs> Who's this guy, you know? Um, I was gonna... I need to... Where was he? Oh, there he is. Uh, his name is Anpu, the Crow Man. He lives by the swamp. He demands a price to travel safely, safely through the Swamp of Terror. But uh, I have the price here. As he pulls out a bag of blood. Hand him this and he will assist you through the swamps without getting ambushed by the undead resting there. I appreciate the... I appreciate, appreciate the information and the gif. Yes. I'd also, you know, like to let you know that uh, the new guard captain... Uh, Bailey doesn't like you very much. I'd suggest you watch yourself. Yes, I assumed as much. In fact, I suspect that he might come after you long as you have that gem on your hands. You wouldn't happen to know of anyone who might have a power over him. Gem. What gem? No. I don't know what you're talking about. A local official or someone. Well... He is the captain, so mm, probably the sultan. But uh, he's not easily convinced. No, but we did come across an interesting bit of information in our travel. There was a man who succumbed out into the desert, but not to the heat or lack of thirst, but. He was apparently poisoned by some sort of, uh, 
some sort of traveler he was with. And hmm. it's particular that, you know, your guard captain shares the exact same name as him. Well, the rumors always have persisted that this man is a criminal of some sort. Well, but we never had the proof to jail him. I show him the note. Hmm, this might get him at least fired from his captain to this. Hello, scum and villainy. <laughs> long as long as we can retrieve the body and uh, the substance used, we can track. We can probably, I can probably give this to a man that I trust. And uh, in a few months, he should be out of his captain job. I think I have that f bottle or wine skin filled with that poison, huh? Yeah, you uh, you did use take a tankard of it. Ah, oh, well, can I have that? And on to the squire. Well, with this, we should have him off it, out of his office in a little, little a few months. I have and a I, uh, show him on a I map. That's a good thing. I show on the map, you know, where we found the body at. We gave him a burial. You could probably, uh, dig him up if you're so inclined. No. I'm Although on. I'd suggest you respect the dead's wishes and let sleeping dogs lie. About that gem that you probably took, I will willing sure. to take it off yep. your hands for uh, all 300 gold. I think it's probably going to be worth more than that. <laughs> ah, clever businessman, I see. 350! Say it, knight knighthood's worth 400. <laughs> and this is definitely worth more than that. <laughs> Yeah, if any of you have evaluate, feel free to roll that. Let's see. I don't, but I'm pretty uh, smart. <laughs> no, but I have a charm of 55. Could I use that? Wait, you have a value? <laughs> Well, everybody can roll it, but uh. Yeah, I'm gonna. Roll it. I'm gonna try it. No, I don't. I'd be rolling against a 16. I rolled against a 14. You know what? I'll try. Cause I asked if I could use charm, and that apparently was a no. Yeah, well, you could uh, talk him into increasing the price, but since you don't really know its full value, there's only so much that you can get out of it. Mm. I yeah. can re-roll, it's been multiple days. Actually, yeah, oh yeah, I, I can look. Yeah, I'm gonna... Yeah, uh, yeah I, tried, to I, tried my re I tried my re-roll on Evaluate, so no, I don't really know the value of it. <sighs> I re-roll... Close. Not enough. Look, look. Can I get, like, close to it? Like, cl okay, yeah, close, you, yeah. You, you're close, you know it's that it's there. definitely a <laughs> lot <laughs> more than 300 and 350. Will it be closer to say a thousand? As he, as he kind of looks to the side and I is uh, no. your fortune. I'm pretty sure it is. I mean, I'm not exactly a merchant here, but you know, definitely know my magical items. You know, how about this? You know, you're willing to do three fifty. Okay, legend says this thing provides great strength and also allows you to take on skills that you uh, have very little experience with in a short matter of time. Can, can you give us a demonstration? Since you studied this relic. Give me a charm. I got this, guys. I got a 55. 55% chance. I've got the advantage. Launch what? And fail. Boom. Fuck you, Drew! Well, that legend is a little over exaggerated, but uh, 
It is true that this item is magical in nature. I can't lie you about that. You saved my life after all. So the yeah, I did sense right. the magic, so you couldn't lie to me anyway. <laughs> yeah. That uh, gem is a lot more worth than a thousand gold, I will say that. So any it's two bit, any two bit mage could use this thing, and I... Oh can wait, I... yeah, anyone can use it? Ooh, can I see it? <laughs> My character grabs it real quick, like just takes a look at it with the, like that sort of skeptical eye. Hmm. <laughs> that. Uh, yes, it's well you couldn't be truly measured in cold. What do, what sense do I get from it in terms of give a, magic? Give us your best try. <laughs> I'll be right back. If it's truly as priceless as you say, I ima I'd imagine you'd have no trouble making your money back on it. So no. what we're gonna do is we're, I'm gonna just keep going higher, higher to his price until he gets. <laughs> okay, I'm back. Sweating. Until he reaches his breaking point. <laughs> But yeah, what's the sense I get from it in terms of magical ability? Oh, it's it's a quite an interesting magic item. I, I exactly forgot what it was, but uh, I have to look that up. Higher, uh, higher. Yeah, it's... it's if it's a useful magical uh, item, maybe we should keep it, considering we have a mage? Torture. Do it. I mean, what does it do? Because I, unless I know what it does, then. Well, the legend said it allows you to learn new skills and also. Okay, how about this? How do I roll advanced knowledge magic? If I get it, you have to tell me. Uh, wait just a second. I I'm opening up the book right now to check it out. What was it? What was it? The eye the... of the panther is the. I succeeded, so I do know. Uh, yeah, let me open up that, but, uh, before I can, uh, find it, uh, let me see. He does offer you... <laughs> Alright. He it offers do, you... He offers you 1,252 gold pieces. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, you got yourself a deal. Well, hold on, hold on. Higher, Maybe... higher. <laughs> Maybe we should actually see what it does before we just give it away. What does it do? Since he rolled the advanced knowledge magic and you pulled up the book now. Alright. It has two abilities. Number one, it can uh, summon a familiar. Ooh. Okay. A panther. Ooh. Okay. And, uh, let's see. His second nature is. Yeah, those are the familiars. Uh, let's see. Those of the potion, it's not a potion because you can't drink it too much, unfortunately. It makes you magical. <laughs> well, you, you, you grind it up and you, you turn it into a paltry dust. <laughs> All right. It tastes really good. Let's see. It's you not bad. It it's it with a straw. Uh, it's not bad. It's not bad. It's not there. Uh, where the fuck was it? Oh my god. <laughs> oh. Yes. I was just realizing he gave me gave us an item of unmatched power. Well, it is powerful. I will say that. Uh, it's um you remember that legend about the fire breathing panther? Yeah. It's not a legend. I, uh, 
uh, well, this gem allows you to cast a fireball. Oh, yes, let's keep it. <laughs> let's keep it. So, My character's like, oh, can we keep it, can we keep it, can we keep it? So good. <laughs> I a knighthood with that much money. The money he's offering with more than substantiates. That's an... Yeah, but I can actually make use of this. We can make money other way. With some abilities I earn. It will also make us a target for people like Hoffman. Yeah, and if uh, we've learned anything as yet, is that that man is surprisingly fast. That, and I'm not willing to test out that cannon of his. Please. <laughs> I think it'd be a little dangerous to keep it. It will attract his attention. What say you, Sinoir? <sighs> Considering the sort of place that we took it from, I'd be reserved to use an item so close to Chaos Corruption. Okay. Oh, yeah. Um, you. Uh, well. Afirna, or however you pronounce your uh, character's name. Um, you, can, uh, you can tell that it's not any ordinary fireball, it's called a Doom Fire Fireball. Sounds awesome. My character is called Afirna Bold. She's being bold. Here's my solution. Let's sell it for 4000 I don't think he has that much money. But, um... Uh, he has a potion yeah. of necromancy. I think he can square it for $4,000. let us let's, let's just, you know, let's... Let's, let's get Zap trying to press our block on this one. Let's, uh... We'll take, the, we'll, we'll take the 1252 Oh, no, try for 4000 because now we know what it does. I don't, I, you I, know, I, I don't I'm know. not made of money. I was like, I was like, I don't think he's made of money. That uh, my haggle is shit. I I bring up the fact that I know everything that's in his house and know what it's worth. Like for instance, the potion of necromancy. Uh, well, I guess I could trade it for a item if you want that. We have this useful item already. Why would we just trade it for another item? Just take the fucking gold, goddammit! Let's just take the fucking gold! I mean, the potion is not corrupted by anything, and it potentially potion could be very useful. basically a free burn fate point. Yes. It certainly is. Yeah, but this can be used over and over. Yeah, but well, it does have attention. its limits. Oh, well, obviously. Then it, would, uh, then it would be have to be recharged, and uh, with your magic skill, you realize that uh, it requires human souls. Oh, okay, never mind. Yeah, uh, see, um, <laughs> yeah. Awkward. What the fuck? Once, do you the, think so, once the souls come into the equation, yeah. Yeah, let's. Yeah, uh, dude. Let's, yeah. Well, why the fuck do you think it's called the uh, Doom Fire? It's using human souls as the fire. Yeah, so, uh, I'm gonna take the gem, I'm gonna give it to the man, I'm gonna take the gold, and we can get on our merry way, and hopefully put as many miles as we can between the good gold. old hate Can we at least get 2,000 for it? I was about to say. <laughs> you wanna try and haggle this shit? <laughs> For four thousand. Tell you what, I, I, I'll give you some equipment on your journey instead of money. I don't have that much on my hand. What kind of equipment do you got? Well, uh, what do you want? Uh, armor, I want the sword? horse. I want the horse that we're, I need for knighthood. He needed the gold. God damn it! I want. I want to book a the fucking gold. And everyone's like, no. Let's take a potion of revival. Let's the gold. No, man. I wasn't saying that. They were saying that. <laughs> want the gold. Like, Jesus fucking Christ! You can buy a fucking health polis that does the same fucking thing. I want the gold. I've said that three times. 
Like, holy fucking shit! You need it for promotion. Did I get, like, a book of magic or something? Oh, Grimoire? It's, oh, yeah, it's, oh, yeah, yeah you, you could purchase the Grimoire, too. You would have had enough. I'm gonna have... say this. If you need something for a career advancement, this guy will uh, give it to you for free in this situation. <laughs> Well, one item. He'll yes. give you one so, item for free. See, this is why I wanted a thousand. We could get all the items. Fucking. Can... No, that wouldn't even cover the one thousand something. Wouldn't even cover my career. But you need the horse. Oh. Well, you already have the horse. The or that no, the horse. I need a Darius, which is four hundred gold by itself. Well, there we go. You can have one of those. Plate armor, which is harder to get. I wanted a Grimoire with spells in it. <laughs> yes, exactly. Yeah, that's 500. Very well. Yeah, and the, 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 um... End part yeah, for you're gonna, uh, you, you, you can get uh, some Grimoires from uh, this guy if you want. Yes, I do want to get that. Yeah, you'd both want to get it, because that's, that's the only thing you need to get for your career. Yep. It's a journeyman. Yeah, that, that's yep. already a uh, thousand... Uh, extra gold that he would just gave away. Yes. Yes, and I'll take plate armor. Or I, I need to check my career, my the knight career real quick. <laughs> that, uh, that is a little OP, but I will allow, allow it. A... A... <laughs> well, I got I'm, just, I'm just gonna have to throw a little bit more tougher enemies at you. So I'm talking to my lord for my actions. Oh, he's punishing me for him. I'm talking oh. there now. Yeah. So, uh, with, uh, with your new items in uh, tow and uh, a lot of money, I, wanna wait real quick I to think see. Uh, this is a decent place to call it, unless you really, really, really want to continue for a little while longer. I think it's a logical place to call it. It's not like a good place to call it. Yeah. I'm just well, I need to actually know what I get in, ter in terms of magic, so... I need to check my career. Let's sure see. I'm getting the right thing. Yeah, yeah, let's go with here. Okay, there's but no, what... No, there, there's no real point in uh, 